Okay, there we go. I had to figure it out. I need to ask the computer very nicely. Yo, Bluegrass, hey! My weekend has been pretty good, actually, so far. Uh, I got to sleep in today, which was very nice. Um, but how is your weekend going? Last night, all of a sudden, you started feeling really dizzy and it was weird, but you got better when you went to sleep. Well, I hope that, um, I hope that it's not anything more serious. Make sure you drink plenty of water, just in case you're dehydrated. Yo, Cole! Hey, what is up? How are you doing? Gosh, so many people here. Oh my goodness, how is everybody doing today? Oh, I think I've asked that like 25 times, so that's okay. It's a, I'm just really excited to see you all here. And I'm excited to do Act 5 of Homestuck, of the Homestuckening. Yo, Meldy! Meldy Nagasha, what is up? Oh my goodness, so many friends, I'm so excited. Okay, so, um, quick note. Very quick note when reading through this and also kind of realizing something. Um, the only thing that I have to say about the animation before this was after rewatching it, I noticed that the... Um, and I kind of noticed this when I was watching it the first time, but it, it made a lot more sense. I noticed that the... Um, the where, where Jack Noir and, uh, and, and Bro Strider... Are fighting each other. It looked like it looked like one of um, Dave's like time spinny things that he uses with his time travel abilities. Um, but more specifically, I realized that that looks really similar to the emblem on his shirt that was there and then got like a slash through it. But that's the only observation I have, and what that means, I don't know. But considering Bro Strider was like stabbing it and breaking it, I'm assuming that the implication is that Dave's going to finish the job later. Um, as far as foreshadowing goes, but that's just kind of a spitball theory. Yeah, a big record. Yeah, that's what it was, Raid. But, uh, yeah. You've today will be... A, oh, uh, okay, gotcha, cool. I think there was a verb missing there, but you're, you're expecting today will be an existing episode. Yeah, I've read the recap. Um, I kind of skipped through mostly to the end. Um, I got real sad about Dream Jade. Bro, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot, actually, I forgot about that ghoul, so I forgot that it was Bro Strider that actually did slice the logo. So, thank you for reminding me, I completely forgot about that. I am, okay, let's go, let's do it. Uh, you're doing okay, Bluegrass? Spent a couple hours this morning not really feeling awake for whatever reason? Well, I'm glad that you are okay now. Uh, maybe you just needed a little bit to get your body ready. Yo, Shobi, what is up? Big hype, let's go, act five. Oh, okay, well... Didn't know I'd be getting the notes out this quickly, but that's okay. Elsewhere in Paradox Space, we examine another planet, forgotten by time. But we will strive to remember, what was this planet's name? Enter the name. Oh, well, okay, fine, if you're gonna do it that way with that language. Oh, haha, -ha, nice one, smarty pants. Really hilarious, but let's get real here. No more clowning around. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> okay, thanks. That is much better. In fact, as it happens, your guess is precisely correct. What are the odds? We examine the planet Alternia, okay? That seems really important. Alternia. I wonder if this is the troll's old planet. Um, oh, there it says right there. Somewhere on this planet, there is a young troll. Literally the next se uh, sentence. Alternia. So I'm going to write down that as the troll planet. Okay, so we're getting kind of a flashback or flash forward, however time works. I feel like that's a theme part 10. Absolutely. Absolutely. Troll hype. Hive bent. Yo, what is up? Let's see. We have troll, uh, trollian. We have, he has a sickle. Um, let's see. Let's see. This young troll stands in his respite block. It just so happens that today, the 12th bi uh, bilunar peregrine of the 6th Dark Sun's equinox, is the day of this young troll's larval awakening, also known as his wriggling day. Though it was six solar sweeps ago, he was given life, so... Th okay, interesting. Six solar sweeps, so he's only six. Um, it is only today he will be given a name. Six alternian solar sweeps, for convenient reference, is always oh, equivalent to 13 Earth years. There we go. Time shenanigans. The text itself actually reads Troll Planet? Oh, really? Hope I have a big note-taking pen today. Here's hoping I don't run out of lead, guys. Everybody, just, like, offer up a prayer for lead. Hive bent begin. This post page was posted on June 12th. Interesting. I don't know what the significance of that is. The text I used for, is actually from Oblivion, but rotated. That makes a lot of sense. It looked really familiar. That actually makes a lot of sense. It looked super uh, familiar. 
Um, Earth, also for convenient reference, is a planet that does not exist yet. What will the name of this young troll be? Okay. You enter something predictably derogatory, and this guy gets fed up with your shenanigans in record time. This guy has a lot of troll pals, and their adventures are going to be quite extensive and convoluted to an even greater degree than one might perhaps be accustomed to. He thinks that... He, th he thinks that if you think we have time to drag out every little gag and expected pattern along the way, you've got another thing coming. He thinks you should cram that sobering understanding into your chitinous windhole and tamp it down hard with your ugly, stupid-looking cartilage snub. Okay, cool. We got some streamlined. Let's go. Yeah, 1.2 point something years. Yo, new arc number. Uh, now, now 612 is the new uh, 413? Huh. 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 Let's see, let's see. Okay, I got I got my notes ready. I got them. So what is this troll's young troll's name? Try again. Your name is Karkot Vantas. That's going to be very important. I'm going to write that down. Karkot Vantas. He hath been named. Praise the name. Rip off any homesick naming gags. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because, like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to find my old notes. I have a separate note thing. I have a separate note thing. Maybe I can, based on his shirt. Oh, gosh. I, I am terrible at remembering um, astrological signs. What sign is that on his shirt? Because maybe I can link it up to a different. That's cancer. So that means that's CG. It's CG. Yes. I love CG. Oh, that explains that explains the absolutely terrible attitude. Karkat is cancer in Sanskrit or something? Interesting. Your name is Karkat, and as was previously mentioned, it is your wriggling day, which is barely even worth mentioning. It is an anniversary of anything to lament the faults of your existence, of which there are assuredly plenty. Let's see. Interestingly enough, okay, interestingly enough, Karkat also likes movies much like John. So a lot of parallels here. He's very crabby. <laughs> oh, no, Candy, not with the puns. Not with the puns. Equally plenty and somewhat related to that topic are your interests. You have a passion for ridiculously terrible romantic uh, movies and rom-coms. You should really be embarrassed for liking this dreadful cinema. Do they have troll Will Smith? Troll Adam Sandler? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hussy, please. Hussy, please. You're going to kill me. You should really be embarrassed for liking this, this dreadful cinema, but for some reason you are not. You like to program computers, but you are notoriously pretty awful at it. Your programs invariably damage the machines on which they are executed, which is just as well since you like to believe you specialize in computer viruses. When you mature, you aspire to join the ranks of the most lethal members of your society. The Threshecutioners! You like to practice with your really cool sickle, but wind up just looking like kind of a doofus by yourself in your room. You like to chat with some of your other troll pals, most of which drive you bat, uh, bat shit up the fucking belfry. You've been trying out a new chat client called Trollian, and you're not really sure what you think about it yet. Your troll tag is Carcinogenesis, and you speak in a manner that is almost exclusively ornery all the time. Later, you will play a game with five other friends and go on a big adventure with them. This game, for convenient reference, is a game that does not exist yet. But it will soon. What will you do? I also like that the titles on the posters are absurdly long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Bluegrass. Yeah, I just looked at chat. Absolutely. The movie titles take up all the, like, half the posters. We see it all things Car Cat. I love Car Cat. Before I even knew Car Cat was Car Cat, I loved Car Cat. Literally my favorite troll to voice act. Um, <laughs> Trillion is reference to Trillion. An old troll. Yeah, yeah. I believe. I believe that was actually mentioned. I think maybe you mentioned it before, uh, Kenny. I don't know, but that's but that's a really cool reference. Imagine trying to say that. That's why they don't. They think it's stupid. It is your recuperoon, full of nourishing soper slime. Every young troll enjoys the cozy embrace of such a vessel each night, and the relaxing ooze helps assuage the terrible visions of blood and carnage that plague the dark subconscious of your species. It is so inviting. A few minutes couldn't hurt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, this is sure as cozy as hell, but you can't be napping all day like a chump. Damn it, you're a busy guy. You're sort of a big deal. Goddamn slime. Now you gotta, you gotta have to change your clothes, too. What were you thinking? Luckily, all your clothes are the same. Trolls think fashion is stupid. Same in the movie posters. 
Okay, it's time to get serious here. Sweet troll Jigus. Let's get down. Let's get real and get down to some major business. You space out and get caught up reading the titles of the films for about five minutes. Wow, these movies are great. You don't care what anyone says. Pure magic. Is that... Is that John Cusack? The one thing that most people don't realize is that John Cusack is a universal constant. You love exploring alien society? Yeah, I, I mean, I was just playing Subnautica right before the stream. That's, like, interesting. And now I'm over here and, like... Just, like, tons of weird alien nonsense all around. The name Trillium being a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference. Interesting. Yo, the five-book trilogy is so good. The five-book trilogy is so, so good, Bluegrass. Yeah, it's not even Troll John Cusack. It's just normal John Cusack. I love it so much. Yo, Re-Recursive, what's up? I see you there lurking around with them emotes. How are you doing? Let's see. This movie... Okay, this one, you, even you have a hard time defending. It's th But still, it's so good. The best thing about it is how Troll Sandler doesn't want, make you want to punch anything. Like, nothing at all. Really hard or anything. You grab your trusty sickle with your encryption modus. Fuck. An encryption notice is going to be incredibly inconvenient. To retrieve it, you'll ha need to hack the code to open the card vault left behind. This will obviously prove to be a completely ridiculous and untenable way of managing an inventory and lead to great many follies. Later on, you would swap your bonus with your hacker friend, uh, a guy who, unlike you, happens to be competent with programming. It would only make sense. But for the time being, it makes your life kind of a nightmare. There are many, so many stupid things that happen because of this modus. So many. You have no idea. Yo, you're looking forward to the next Subnautica video? Yo, don't worry. Like, it, it will come soon. I, I am trying to manage my time that it is, like, all, like, totally fine. I'm definitely doing doing some work there, but that's okay. Yeah, he does grow eyebrows. That's a good point, Ghoul Soul. Carcat, decide if you have eyebrows or not. Just don't, don't switch between them. God damn it! You hear an unhappy unha grumbling through the hole below. This was not the coolest thing you could have done just now. <laughs> You make quite sure not to capture log it and simply pick it up and read it for the large book. Let's see. Oh boy. Um, okay. Prepare your your aff file, dig your grave. For death begins with life's first breath, and death begins and life begins at the touch of death. Troll Will Smith! <laughs> oh my god, I love it so much. I, I, I know what it I know what a tilde is. I, I I'm a software engineer. <laughs> Oh, till death. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, I I'm, I know what a tilde is. I did not get the joke. That's fair, though, Raid. That's that's fair. I got you. Removable eyebrows. Just do do do. You've been binging my YouTube content? How are you liking it, Cole? I, I mean, I assume if you're binging it that you are enjoying it, but I hope you are. But yeah, Rain, thank you for explaining the joke there, because I am the big dumb. Uh, till death, this, additional graves, execute null, this dot die. It is a thick programming menu called Till Death, a handbook for the immediately deceased. Or eminently deceased. Till Death is an insufferable language to work with. Its logic is composed by nothing but infinite loops, or at best, loops of effectively interminable construction. The above page in the intro section documents the simplest possible uh, Till Death code structure. Any code deviating from this basic structure will not compile. Lovely. You will have a whole bunch of code samples you've been messing around with on your computer. It's frustrating at best and debilitating to your machine at worst. Okay, leave the room. Ooh! Ooh, the troll planet is really pretty! Okay. Interesting. You step outside your respite block onto the whole hive's numerous extraplanar, uh, extraterrestrial landing slats. You were allowed to design this hive when you were young, after you emerged victorious from your trials deep in the brooding caverns. You've lived here with your custodian ever since. It's almost as if you people have placed great cultural importance on teaching children to become architecturally adept while very young. It has been this way since ancient times. No one seems to know why that is. So their entire culture was built around preparing for the game. John had a till death uh, file on his desktop way back in Act One. Really, really now. Oh, okay. Back in Act One, we also had something cake that you. Uh, hmm. Huh. Yeah, I like that carrot cake. That's really cute. That's really cute. Very strange. Huh. His till death file was titled Ah! Yo, I mean, to be honest, dealing with that language, see, that, that is the noise that I would make, personally. Um, getting to build your own hive at a young age using whatever meandering divine you chose likely has left you jaded to the notion of customizing your abode. You certainly wouldn't get all that worked up about a game that happened to allow you to do such a thing, at least not for that reason. 
Yeah, so their entire society was built around preparing for this game? Yo, car cat's eyes. Arr! Look at car cat's eyes. Fuck, 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 carrot cake. So much pretty fan art of Alternia. Yeah, this is awesome. I'm so excited to get more troll lore. Um, let's see. Now, this is interesting. So, okay, okay. So, Alternia, so we have... I believe it was when you showed the planet as well. There was, like, a green moon and a purple moon. Um, which is really interesting because the only other massively green thing we've seen was the intermission. Yeah, so, like, so you have this. You have the moon that is connected to the purple moon. Hmm. Hmm. Yo! Hello, Kanaya Mariam. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're enjoying the stream. Welcome to Highbent. The lawn rings are empty. Blood sky and I'm sorry if I butchered your name, uh, Kanaya. What's up, Sailor? How you doing, Sailor Lunacy? Let's see, let's see. The lawn rings are empty. Blood skims the void in your porous cranial plates as if grazing the hollow of a threshed stem or, say, an abandoned cocoon. A sour note is produced. It is one agitation. It's the one agitation plays to make its audience squirm. It is your sixth wriggling day. And as with all five preceding it, blah, 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 blah. Look. You don't have time for fancy poetry. It's almost as useless as those arms swinging flappy things on the mailboxes. Assuming you even know what those were, which you don't. Trolls don't have mail. Mail is almost as useless as poetry to them. Poetry is the swing arm flappy dealy of words, and mail is the red tilty lever doodad of people giving a shit. Frankly, you don't know about things skimming voids or grazing hollows or whatever. You've got ambition! You were meant to be a big shot, to be in charge of something huge and really important, and to be totally ruthless about it. You haven't just haven't found the dominion in which you are destined for greatness yet, or even the vague concept of it. You haven't found your purpose, but you will tonight. You stew in your own impotent aggravation in the cool dusk breeze. During the dark seasons, it remains dusk for most of the day. It can not It can even stay dark for many bilunar uh, peregrines at a time, but even if it didn't, you would still have this feeling. You have a feeling it's going to be a long night. Let's go. <laughs> Rest in peace, poetry. Yo, Chief Little Paul. Hey, I did not see you because blue on dark theme is like impossible to read. How are you doing today? Oh my goodness. Dun dun dun. I'm so excited for Carcat. Carcat. Ooh, I love him so much. Yo, Black Rose Wolf. Hey, welcome to the stream. Let's get that big hype. Let's go. Okay, let's go, let's go. You head back into your block and hit up your computer station. Uh, no word from any of your loudmouth pals yet. No news is good news. Sweet music to your auricular sponge clots. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, I love my auricular sponge clots so much. It's the latest I issue of Game Grub. This one appears to boast about exclusive leaks. They all boast about that. You're not even really sure what it means. Oh, and they have literal leaks. Oh, that's gross. Check out the DVD. Yo, Troll Will Smith, the Thresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> it's a DVD of one of your favorite series, The Thresh Prince of Bel Air. It's about a green Thresh executioner cadet who sasses up the Blue Bloods and his Flay Squad pretty good. Their blood is literally blue, lousy snobs. But Troll Will Smith shows them how to all loosen up. He is pretty much your hero. Troll TV shows have much shorter titles than troll movies because TV is a much newer form of media in their society, which is a good thing because it would be pretty hard to make this funny joke otherwise. Yo, this is a story all about how... Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, Troll Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I'm down. Or excuse me, or I should just say Thresh Prince. Okay, enough messing around. Time to get to work. Maybe get a little programming. Or, oh god. It figures that installing this new beta chat client would open up the floodgates. All of your moron friends are going to be hounding you relentlessly. Not that they need an excuse before. You wonder what this chump wants. Answer the troll. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so this is TC. And TC, we haven't met TC yet. Oh, we have not met TC yet. We have not met TC yet. Uh, let's see, let's see. So I need to make a note here of TC. Um, let's see, let's see. Terminally capricious. Also, it's the ti also with the title written in English, because what is consistency? That's fair, Bluegrass. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, like, wait, wait, why does that? That doesn't even make any sense. Let's go, new troll, new troll. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Rain, I will, I will definitely do a voice that I feel like is appropriate. Uh, and if that is a southern accent, that will work, but I will see. 
Uh, yo, Linebug. Hey, what is up? I, I, you have been messaging so much, and I totally missed it because I am blind. How are you doing today? It's so good to see you. Out of the 12 trolls, TC was the hardest for you to read? Oh, really? What is up, my invert brother? What, is, uh, what in the sweet almighty taint-chafing fuck do you want? Not a motherfucking thing, bro. Other than I be checking out how my best motherfucking friend is at yo. I really can't stand how, how I, wait, I really can't stand you, and I hate how you type. It just bothers me so much. Have I mentioned that? You say it pretty much like every time we talk. Yeah, but uh, I don't, I don't have to. Uh, see, like, but I mean, I mean, this feels so motherfucking unnatural and shit. You just gotta be going with what fe feels right at where your heart's at, uh, up in, you know, best friend. I wonder what kind of shitty thing I did to deserve such an awful best friend. Maybe what terrible thing I'm going to do and get punished for in advance. Maybe I'm just like preemptively the worst fucking piece of trash who ever lived, and I don't even know it yet. But hey, your friendship is exhibit A, I guess. It's such a beautiful thing, this troll disease called friendship. Friendship isn't a disease, shit sponge. It's like a mistake, a big joke of nature. It's a miracle. No, no, don't, 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 no, don't start with the miracles again. Man, everywhere I look, all I see is some motherfucking miracles. It's so spiritual, all these miracles and shit. It'd just be like taking this fucking, this fucking tits bottle of fucking fa uh, Fiago I just cracked up, uh, cracked open. It's like being all hissing and shit, motherfucking hissing. Who went and told it to do that? How would it even know to do that? It's crazy, it's a miracle. It's carbonation, you ignorant douche! <laughs> motherfucking miracles. This is, so, so, whereas my voices for the Earth Kids are, like, relatively tame and natural for me, switching between troll voices on a whim is going to take some practice. It's, this is a little interesting. Try getting sloop sometime instead of slurping down that weird swill all day and fondling your stupid horns! No, no, bro, I don't want to know. Don't even tell me. Knowing shit just steals up all the fucking magic from my miracles like a motherfucking thief. And that ain't cool. The only miracle is that you like that disgusting sludge. Where do you even get that stuff? It's also a miracle how you dress like an imbecile and are basically the stupidest asshole I've ever known. Actually, you're right. There are miracles everywhere. I've been a fool. See, man, I am straight up telling you. Miracles. It's like, all right, computers, right? What the fuck? Miracles is what? Fuck you. Fuck you for me just reading that. Anyway, what's up with your bad self? For serious here, is there something big all going down? What? I heard something big was going all down. Just all be telling me all what motherfucking is uh, up and about. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying about right here now. Like, I'm just woo. Stop saying all. Are you talking about TA's thing? Yeah, fuck yeah, man. So mysterious. I'm never getting ceased to be amazed by all these fucking mysteries life's got for us. Okay, okay. Can you stop adding verbs like getting ceased to be amazed? Oh my god. It's so hard. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the voices. I'm glad you guys are. This is, uh, I, I'm kind of digging TC. I, 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 I kind of love TC a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I'll go talk to him tonight about it. Maybe I won't. It's probably just another one of his projects that winds up being completely useless and a huge waste of my time. Yeah, maybe, but he's your friend, though, so it's all cool. Anyway, I thought this sounded like a pretty motherfuck big motherfucking deal, my man. Oh. What? Oh, bro, never mind. I just fucking did like, a, like, like to scarb that shit out of my... What the fuck is he even saying? Aw, oh, bro, never mind. I just fucking did like to scar, scare the shit out of myself here. These damn horns. You gotta get rid of those things. They make it more embarrassing to know you, which is a freaking miracle that that's even possible. Like, wow, God sure cooked up a doozy there. Twinkly-eyed son of a bitch just keeps you guessing, doesn't he? Man, you know you want to give my horns a good squeeze. Actually, you know what will, the miracle, will be the miracle to end all miracles? It'll be if I ever meet a kid I despise more than you. That will make me a motherfucking convert. I'll see the light so bright I'll need GC to walk me around so I don't bump into shit. Sign me up for your idiotic clown religion, okay? Haha, <laughs> you fucking got it, brother. Oh my god. This is amazing. <laughs> Yo, look at <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay, some creepy clowns. I was excited, and then I saw the clowns. 
Did I notice how the arrow thing switched from two uh, two things to six? Uh, I did not really. Not really. That's interesting. Huh. Super, like, look at the, oh, the clown posters. And I mean, he likes the makeup. He's down. Uh, by all means, guys, what is what is the, the symbol there? What is the astrological sign? Huh. Yo, that's that old goat bleeding man, so choice. <laughs> oh man, I there the trolls are super fun. The trolls are super super fun to voice, and they have so much personality, all of them. But there's twelve of them. There's twelve of them. That's so many characters. Oh my god. Whoa, what the fuck? Who's this motherfucking fucker? It's cool. Life is like that sometimes. It's full of mysteries. You'll be the one doing you'll be doing one thing and something else will hit you just like that and you roll with it. That's what you do when life hands you lemons. You sure as fuck don't make lemonade, but yes, who the fuck knows where that shit fucking comes from? It's squeezed out of miracles is where. So what's this motherfucker's name? Okay, 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 we get an actual name. Um, okay, so your name is Gamzy Makara. Okay, Gamzy. Gamzy. We got more names. I'm so excited. All of your astrology knowledge comes from these Homestuck characters. That's very fair. Two names down. Let's go. Motherfucking Gamzy Makara. Absolutely. Oh, man. Thank you for uh, letting me know that, that, that he's a Capricorn. Also, he's going to be squeezing them horns. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see. You get pretty excited by clowns of a grim persuasion, which may not be in full possession of their mental faculties. You belong to a rather obscure cult, which foretells of a band of rowdy and capricious minstrels, which will rise one day on a mythical paradise planet that does not exist yet. The beliefs of this cult are somewhat frowned upon by the dwelling, those dwelling in more common lawn rings. But you don't care. You gotta be going with what feels right and where your heart's up in, you know? You like to practice on your one-wheel device, which you are so god-awful at, These your feet do not reach the pedals, which is problematic. You enjoy a fine beverage and like to do a little baking sometimes. You've got all these horns all over the place. And sometimes you step on them and they scare the shit out of yourself. You like to chat with your best with your pal Carcat, who is usually pretty cranky, but he's your best friend. You have a lot of other great friends who you also like a lot. But you know, Carcat, he's your best. Your troll tag is terminally capricious and you speak in a manner that is just a little bit whimsical. What will you do? Capture log the 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 Fiego. The Fiego drink. Yo, yo, can I, yeah, Gamzy motherfucking M Makara. Notice how his horns are goat horns? I mean, I suppose, is that, is that the intent? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I haven't been putting too much thought into a lot of detail. Like, I noticed, obviously, the bull horns on Taros, which was AT, I believe. Um, and then TA has been mentioned, but interesting, interesting. Let's see. You snag a bottle of Fiego. To, uh, to consume the beverage, which is your fellow devotees referred to as the kick in the wicked elixir, is capsule logged through your miracle. Oh, God, miracle modus. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What is this hot garbage? What is this hot garbage? Oh, you have no idea how this thing works and you don't want to know. Absolute chaos. Oh, you take your husk top. Sometimes you li just like to pick stuff up and watch the colors, it's so beautiful. Life is beautiful. <laughs> you decide to give this diabolical contraption another shot. Maybe one of these days you'll get uh, one more suited to your proportions. For now, this is all you have to work with. You just have to figure out how to stay on this thing without flying off the handle. Do 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 do. Oh no! You do some sort of acrobatic fucking pirouette off the handle and into a big pile of horns. Honk! Sample delicious pie cooling on the counter. It's still piping hot, but you can't help yourself. You sneak a taste of the soap or slime pie. You aren't supposed to eat that slime. It does funny things to a troll's head. But you were never taught that on account of a lousy upbringing. Your custodian was always out to see it. That is where he is now. Maybe you'll go outside and see if you can spot him. Take a juggling club. And Modus is just, wah, wah. Who would win, Gam Gamzy, Homestuck, or Je uh, Jevil and Deltarune? Oh man, I don't know. That's that's difficult. Jevil is uh has like those weird reality bending powers. I don't know. I think they just team up. I think they would just team up and be absolutely batshit. Honestly. Seizure modus. Oh my god. It's Fago and oh, it's a real drink. Oh, interesting. It's not a parody on a drink. Everyone's favorite troll says a lot about them as a person. We have some Gamzy stands in the chat of the show. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, that's fair. Yo, Beekeeper, what is up? Hey, I'm glad you could make it out. How are you doing today? It's miracles. Fago is just a shitty show to, soda that jugglers like to drink. Got it, Moby? I can do anything. Chaos, chaos. Um, You grab a juggling club. You'll need it if you're going to go out. It's dangerous. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Um, Go outside. So there is an ocean. Wow. You leave your hive and head out to the beach. There's no sign of your custodian. You should not stay out here very long. The sea dwellers are quite hostile. What? Sea dwellers? Oh, God, please... Don't make me look at that modus. Oh, God. Someone is bugging you. This is exciting. You're always down for shooting the wicked shit with anyone who'll put up with you. Now, if only you could figure out how to get your hus top out of this stupid thing. It's a miracle if you can manage. He just prays. He just literally prays. Oh, God. Are there juggalos in the background when he prays? Oh, my God. Epilepsy modus. Up, down, up, down. IBFD. Left, right. Oh, my God. A poof. You say a short prayer to your beloved mirthful messiahs and splash a, a pinch of special stardust on your face. Whoomp! Oh no. The Silidex launches your favorite beverage far, far into the ocean. You wonder if you can just... just sort of reach over and... There we go. Okay, so now we have GC. So this is our favorite blind troll girl. I'm excited. Yeah, it's Insane Clown Posse in the background. Yeah, I fucking died. It killed me. It killed me. This is all killing motherfucking sea dwellers. Let's go. Hey, games, you want to play some game? Or hey, get get. Oh, she's actually she's actually using his name. Hey, games, you want to play some games with me? Hell yeah, that sounds like the motherfucking shits biz, bitch tits. It sure is hard to ignore the weird things you say sometimes, but I'm gonna. And the only reason I'm asking you is because your name is like game, and no other reason. Get it? Oh, well, I heard of worse fucking reasons to be getting all about doing something. <laughs> Honk. No, that should bother you, that reason. Why don't you like things... Why, why don't things like that bother you? No mat. Wait, no wonder uh, Vantis can't stand you. Oh, it's really weird when they start using the actual trolls' names with their, uh, with their, with their uh, speak. Yeah, G Gamzee and Games. Yeah, exactly. That's beautiful. But who cares about him? We're going to have some motherfucking shitty bitch... Uh, shitty bitches playing together. Or whatever you said. So this is this game. The, is this the game I've heard about? The big mystery. Yeah. Oh okay. Uh, oh, this is gonna be fucking insane. But can we like play a little later? I'm outside keeping an eye out here on the old goat. You know how it is with family. No, not really. Dur, 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 dur. Oh yeah. Dur. Way to go. How does it? How does that stupid bottle up syrup of yours taste with your hoof so far up your mouth? Sorry. Anyway, I'll go inside for a while. Why don't you get Carcat to fire up the motherfucker with you? He likes games. Oh, no. God, can you imagine all the bitching and moaning? I used to try and play stuff with him, but wow, did I learn my lesson. All right, well, I'll try to get in and get up on my chill real soon, and we can play. Just give me a minute. Bullshit. You know you're just going to sit there on the beach and space out and lose track of time. Hello? Games? What? Oh, man, sorry. I spaced out. Did you know how beautiful the sound of the ocean is? Have you ever seen the ocean? Oh, or, or, or I mean, oh shit. I mean, smelled it? Sorry. <laughs> Taste the fago. <laughs> Why don't you like things? <laughs> fucking what a question, though. What an absolute question. We know their names now, so there's no reason for the characters not to use them. Absolutely. I'm just saying it is very difficult for me to keep track of. Oh, man. That's exciting, though. Oh shit, you're right, you're right, Rain. All of the Pester Chum names have been really, uh, announced. Apocalypse Arisen, Adios Torid, uh, Torridor, Twin Armageddon's Carcinogenesis, Arsenic Catnip, Grim uh, Oxilatrix, Gallows Calibrator, Arachnid's Grip, Centaur's Testicle, <laughs> Terminally Capricious, uh, Caligula's Aquarium, and Cuttlefish Cooler. Okay, Carcat, Carcat, you should stop this. You should, you should stop this. What are you doing? Finally, some peace and quiet. Now you can bear down on, uh, on your coding. This will surely last all evening without interruptions. You reopened one of your till death projects that you started recently. You're still horsing around with the conditions for terminating the loops. With what many till death coders do is import finite constructs and bind the loops to their lifespan. For instance, the main loop here will terminate on the death of the universe labeled you. That way, you only have to wait a few billion years for it to end instead of forever. You have bound a subloop to the lifespan of the code's author, which is you. Any routine that will at the end will execute when you die. 
You figured this might be handy for coding something to release a final will and testament, or maybe some sort of doomsday virus. You spend a lot of time thinking of the ways you can perfect the perfect doomsday virus. Conveniently absent from Tilda's extensive import library are entities with short lifespans, like a rapidly decaying particle that only lasts a millisecond would sure come in handy, or even a fruit fly or something. But no, coding with this language is all about finding ways to trick it into doing what you want. Your hacky buddy is obnoxiously good at it. He sent you some files from which you don't understand, but you're not going to admit that. He is even better at making viruses than you, which really gets stuck in your nook. Oh my goodness. CT is interesting. <laughs> yeah, Centaur's testicle. Oh my god. Check out some of the files. Okay, so this came from Twin Armageddon. So this came from TA. Um, I'm just going to write it down in case like TA speaks to us anytime soon, which is the opposite of AT. What is a nook? I mean, I'm assuming it's something like a brain hole or something like that. The file names are good. So bifurcate this, import universe one. Oh, I don't like that it's importing multiple universes. That's, that's, that's problematic, I think. Let's see, till death. Oh, and you're looping inside of universes. We so have sub universe. No, wait, wait. This isn't. Wait, what? No, this isn't how scoping should work. This isn't how scoping should work. Oh, oh, tool biology. <laughs> Yo, Bonks, what is up? Yeah, I am actually reading Homestuck. Yeah, um, is that when I mentioned it? You were talking about streaming the game. Yeah, no, I'm actually doing it. We're in Act Five. We've been making some high progress. How are you doing today, Bonks? How are you? Let's see. I'm bothered by this. This this scoping doesn't make sense. This is gross. Bad hacker is bad at hacking. You need to be here for Act 6. Oh boy, so Act 6 is hype. Uh, I am under the impression I will be here for a while in Act 5, so we'll see. This code, when executed, immediately causes the user's computer to explode and places a curse on the user forever, along with everyone he knows and everyone he'll ever meet. Not surprisingly, later you will, would run this code in a fit of stupidity. Oh no. You don't know how he does stuff like this. What does this even mean? It's nonsense. Is it even syntactically viable? Absolutely not. Are you allowed to color text like that? Maybe you should ask him about it sometime. Oh, speak of the devil, here he's bugging you about something. Time to put on your game face and pretend you don't think very highly of his abilities. Yandere dev type coding? Oh my god. Yo, I need yo, I need to play a Yandere uh Yandere simulator, actually. Elsif, Elsif, Elsif. Till death is just something you need to accept. Even if it wouldn't work in reality, that is very difficult for me. That is incredibly difficult for me. KT, don't... Oh, okay, okay. I, wait, we have met TA before. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. These two talking are a mood. KK, don't flip your shit about this, but I'm letting you... Uh, but I'm setting... But I'm setting you up to play a game with some people. Why would I flip my shit about that? Because you flip your shit about everything. Well, will you look at this? Here is my shit, and here it remains unflipped. Just sitting here on the skill net, or on the skill net, getting burned on one side. It's a miracle. Oh, no, are you into miracles? Because, uh, now too, because if you are, then you, uh, you're fired preemptively from the game. Fuck no. Okay, nice. Miracles are like poop stains on God's underwear. <laughs> Making fun of people's religion is the best thing to do. That's why he hides them. They're fucking embarrassing. God launders in mysterious ways. <laughs> right. But let's get our mouse. Uh, let's get our mouse a second and talk. Let's shut our mouse a second and talk about this game. It'll literally only be two seconds, uh, really. So you don't have to do too much. Okay, good. Because I'm pretty busy tonight. What is this thing actually? Why all the secrecy? Well, the short the the short story is that it's an immersive simulation. You play with a group. The long story is that the fate of our civilization depends on you playing it. <laughs> I guess the long one was way shorter than the short one. Fuck. That sounds like a melodramatic bullshit coming, but coming from you, color, uh, color me unsurprised. Screw you, Vantas. This shit's more real than craft grub sauce. They have craft in uh, Alternia. They have craft dinner. They have KD, which I actually had for lunch today. Oh, is 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 the dev for Yandere for Yandere Simulator? Oh, is a creep? I didn't know that. Oh boy, I did not know that at all. That's very that's very disappointing. Symbol here is Gemini. Okay, gotcha. I think I actually have that written down. I do have that written down. Grub sauce. Yo, Canny. That makes me very, very uncomfortable. That makes me very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> Thinking about that. You're taking my idea and making your own color glass. Yo, beekeeper, do it. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. That's super hype. Let us know how it turns out. Let's see. 
Yes, right. So, okay, so you made this game? No, no, more like I adapted it. From what? Some crazy technology AA dug out of some ruins. Haven't you talked to her about it? Man, no, I can't talk to her. She's so spooky. I don't know why most of our friends are such psychos. Probably because most trolls are? If you heard what I heard every night, I mean, wow, fuck. Well, no, 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 not, let's not talk about your weird mutant brain. And don't scan mine or whatever. It's off limits, you douche. TA can scan brains? Okay. I told you a billion times you can't do that, you nub, you nub slurping fuckpod. What are you up to with the secret uh, stuff? Why haven't you told me anything about this? KK, I'm sorry, but it's really kind of a private matter between me and her, and I'd really appreciate it if that was respected. Oh, God. Stop being so sensitive. It's a repugnant quality. Okay, how about you take your own advice? You are such a blubbering hypocrite. You're lucky I'm so fucking magnanimous and charitable, because otherwise there'd be no chance I'd waste my time on you. What a load of shit. This act that you actually think you're a hotshot, you know you hate yourself. Nobody hates himself more than you, idiot. Yeah, well, I hate myself way more than I hate, or I hate you way more than I hate myself, and that's fucking saying something. In fact, I hate you more than I hate myself, and hate yourself more than you hate me can buy something. There are words there. Oh, fuck. That noise is in every leaking orifice. It got, you know, I hate the combined product of you and myself more than you could ever begin to hate me and myself and you and yourself with your worst a day. So fucking deal with it. Okay, time out for the idiot. The idiot gets a time out and shuts up for a second. That's you. Just tell me what to do about the game. If you hate yourself so much, then why don't you hate marry yourself? This is so hard to keep track of. Oh, God, baby sauce. Let's see, let's see. There are words in there somewhere. Somewhere mysteriously there are words in there. Oh my God. Isn't troll friendship a wonderful thing? It's definitely a thing, Cole. This troll disease that some call friendship. They are all infected now. Let's see. Well, I'll send you a download soon. I'm setting up two teams. Like two separate competing teams so there's a better chance of at least one of them winning. And also I guess... Uh, to see which one can win faster. Oh, does that explain why we've, why we've only literally seen half of the trolls? Oh, because they're on the other team? Oh, that would be interesting. And of course, rhetorical. Us hum simple humans could never understand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe friendship is that weird, like, intersection of troll and human society, but it's on the disease and friendship spectrum. And then also we have a disease that is also friendship and an emotion. Let's see. Okay, let me guess. There's a red team and blue team, right? Yeah, you're the red team. It will be... I will be the leader of the blue. Okay, then can I pick my teammates then? Uh, bro, you're not the leader of the red team. I picked GC for that. So GC is, uh, the leader of the red team. Okay. Red team leader, writing it down. I'm about to see Karkot lose his shit. We all know, no, we all know friendship isn't an emotion because friendship is magic. No, we all know friendship isn't an emotion or a disease because friendship is a miracle. Let's see. What? Dude, I did not think you'd be interested in this. Don't act all offended. Oh, wow, now I see. Real fucking clever, picking the blind girl to lead the team you're competing with. I knew you were a cheater, cheater low-life fucking scumbag with no scruples of self-esteem and were basically worthless on every level, but somehow I'm still disappointed in you. Yeah, I'm such an idiot for not rewarding your bubbly personality and impeccable people skills with leadership gig. What an inconsiderate, knuckle-sponge asshole I have been. I am a hatched leader and you know it! I know your filthy seed flap is fluttering in the profane breeze that's shooting out of your stinking meat tunnel. I do know that much. How do you get out of your cocoon in the morning, knowing that you're the worst thing the universe has ever been responsible for? Also, it must be hard with your hands to persistently... Uh, with your hands persistently bothering every mutated set of genitals peppering the ghastly husk you pawn off as a body. Has a female ever looked at you without once turning skyward and erupting like a vomit volcano? Answer me that. This is so immature, I'm basically just laughing here at how immature you are. Like, I, like, I really give a fuck who the red leader is. If you want it, you want to be the leader, fine, talk to GC about it. I guess these conversations we have do get kind of embarrassing in retrospect. Are we not friends anymore because of the stuff I said? Aw, CG. Or, I, sorry, I should say Karkot. Is, is Karkot worried about not being friends anymore? <laughs> you literally ask me every time, you uh, are you joking? I can't even tell anymore. It's a joke, moron. Honestly, I'm just glad nobody else is privy to our conversations. Actually, why don't we make a pact to delete this one from our logs? I'm just shutting here, scrolling up and reading this. Yeah, okay. Karkot. Aw. These are, in fact, words. Yo, Karkarot. <laughs> 
Would you guys say it's Carcot or Carcat? Would you would you say that which one is uh which one is preferable? You're taking notes. You need to tell all of your friends that you hate them more, Cole. Absolutely, absolutely. Fuck it, friendship is magic. You like Carcot? Gotcha. Oh, but some people are saying Carcat. Her, her. Okay. It seems like the general consensus is Carcat. Okay, gotcha. I can say it however, that's fine, but Carcat's fine. Carcat, like, kind of can, can kill the flow sometimes. It's a bit of a harder syllable. That's fine. I'm fine with that. Can, oh, god damn it. You guys are going to be seeing all of my Steam notifications now because I forgot to turn off the overlay. Give me one sec, actually. Sounds like someone downstairs is getting pretty crabby. This is not an encounter you're looking forward to. You probably put it off as long as you can manage. Let's see. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. All the blues. Who is this? Hey! Why, who is this young lady? Yo, we get to get, we get a CG, or a GC's name. I'm so excited. Okay, 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 okay. Your name is Terezi Pyro. Terezi. Tere Terezi Pyro. There are many names that we are learning. Yo, Terezi Hype, let's go. John is actually pronounced nerd. Yo, I'm so excited for her. I'm so excited for her. You are pretty enthusiastic about dragons, but you have a particular affection for their colorful scales, which you gather and use to decorate your hive. So wait, there are actual dragon scales here on this world? Really? Pyro being a monster in Hotland. Oh, you're right though, Blue Raz. You're absolutely right. Yo, we simp, <laughs> we simp for Terezi. Oh, gosh. Let's see, let's see. Terezi's room is pretty cool. Yeah, it's very colorful. You see, like, all of these little puppets and books and everything. It's very nice. Uh, though you live alone deep in the woods, you surround yourself with a variety of plushy pals known as scale mates. You often spend your days with them in rounds of live-action role-playing. You used to engage in various forms of more extreme role-playing with some of your other friends before you had an accident. You take an interest in justice, holding particular fascination for orchestrating the demise of the wicked. You have taken up a study of brutal Alternian law and surrounded yourself with legal... Is it... Is, is Terezi Matt Murdock? Daredevil? Like... 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 Blind lawyer slash crime fighter? Oh my god. Troll Daredevil? Let's see, let's see. I love it so much. You have no need for copies printed in Troll Braille because you can smell and taste the words. You hope one day to join the honorable ranks of the legislation. Your troll tag is Gallows Calibrator, and you speak with the numerals the Blind Prophet once used. Blind Prophet? <laughs> Why is Lead Speak Blind Prophet? I'm writing that down. Lead Speak equals Blind Prophet. I don't know if that matters, but like, why though? Igiari? Let's see. She just spent her time licking Edgeworth. Oh my god. Oh man. Objection! AIE equals 413. That makes sense. A particular kind of lead speak. Huh. Huh. Let's see. Let's see. You're presently the leader of the red team, poised to begin a mysterious game with five other friends in direct competition with another six of your friends comprising the blue team. What will you do? Cut to the chase and begin LARPing immediately. It's pretty hard to live action role play when there's no one who's alive nearby, but all of your scale mates are alive to you. This honorable tyranny, or his honorable tyranny. Interesting. Who is this? I guess it's just part of the LARPing? At least you pretend to believe that to annoy people. You, pretend, you prepare a new campaign for one of your favorite scenarios. Court block drama. His honorable tyranny presides. On trial is an especially detestable fellow. Senator Lemon Snout. You have, spared, you have sparred with this scumbag before. Tonight he faces justice. He will play the role of prosecuting attorney. On Alternia, there is no such thing as a defense attorney or a defense... Uh, defense attorney or a defense. In a court block, the word defense itself is in fact offensive. Interrogate. Yo! Rawr, let's go. I'm loving this. Yo, yo, Terezi is about to get violent with the logic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Most of the interrogation is in the intimidating uh, silence. You're waiting for one troll in particular, and you hate that for yourself? Lemon Snout, the fiend! 
Hashtag lemon snout is a fiend. I'm writing it down. Lemon snout equal fiend. It's going to be important later. I know it. Clearly. Clearly. <laughs> oh, my God. Slap him around a bit. Come on, Terezi. Come on. The dastard, the rogue, the charlatan, the bamboozler, the taker of our own youthful innocence. Let's get him. Slap him around a bit. Whoppa! Slap. You don't want to slap too hard. And enough to stain, but not enough to bruise. It must be methodical, businesslike, and persistent. You only stop when you smell tears. The sniff! <laughs> the, the way that she sniffs! Mr. Senator, you smell very nice. Your luscious yellow scales are like sweet gumdrops to the prosecution's nose. But your deceit stinks. Did you honestly think you could dip your corpulent snout into the imperial beetle coffers like that and get away with it? Did you think your revolting abuse of the public trust would go unnoticed? Think again, good senator! While the prosecution may be blind, rest assured, the League of Legislators sees all. Um, I have two options here. Uh... Uh... Password hint? If you don't know the password, it means you're not supposed to. Dummy, go back. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Intra ignore that. Nothing to see here. Very suspicious, guys. Very suspicious. Just one choice, really. BRB guessing the password. What was it? Was it, was it 613 or 612? I wrote it down. 612. Nope. Go back. Okay, fine. Fine, you really want to be like that then, I guess. Legislators. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Yo, Bluegrass, you like Car Cat the, or Car Cat the best? Absolutely. I, I, I love Car Cat a lot. Oh my goodness. There's a one in a million chance I could guess it right. That would be bad. I imagine it'd be like going to the end of... Like, I saw the page, the page number. It's like 7,000 something. That'd be like skipping to the end of the book. Like, immediately. <laughs> You saw a streamer guess correctly? Oh my god. Without getting too, like, specifics, how terrible was that? Oh my goodness. Call a witness. Oh, well played, Lemon Snout, well played. The prosecution's key witness murdered. How convenient! The court block has, a li has little choice but to acknowledge your cunning. You have earned just a teeny sliver of your respect back. But for, for now. But wait. Oh my, what have we here? Shocking development. Little guys, the prosecution begs your pardon, dear senator, but you appear to have dropped something. A personal satchel, perhaps? Chock full of illicit embezzled beetles from which you have the unmitigated cheek to waltz before his tyranny, concealed before your ill-gotten finery? The prosecution requests a short recess from his honorable tyranny so that all law-abiding and mother-grub-fearing citizens may go outside and pew. In alternative court, you can get away with anything as long as you're good enough at assassinating anyone who spits out against you. Absolutely. I also love this weirdo. She is adorable. I love her so much. Not good. They stopped quick, though. I'm glad, because, like, skipping to, like, page 7,000 would seem problematic. Oh, my goodness. Sentence the criminal. Ha. <laughs> ha. As the prosecutor, it is your job to reach a final verdict and sentence the reprehensible... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, the prosecutor decides the final verdict? And sentences? And his tyranny just literally, like, is like, yeah, no, that's cool. That's cool. Like, that's it? Terezi is so good. I love Terezi so much. But this, this legal system seems like it might be having some holes in it. That's all I have to say. Like... Oh, but you take pity on this miserable bureaucrat. You are feeling merciful. You'll give him a fighting chance. You will flip a double-headed troll kager to decide his fate. You do this quite often when making important decisions. Kind of like Batman's nemesis, Two-Face, or that guy from Noel Country, or No Country for Old Men. It turns out there are a lot of badasses out there flipping coins, but those are Earth, those are Earth things and you never heard of them. It's safe to say you borrowed this gimmick from one of the many, many troll things out there that's gotten so hard-boiled, that's got hard-boiled dudes flipping coins for major stakes. You base the habit on whichever one of those smells the most badass. Troll titles are very interesting. Legislator and Lacerate. Oh, man. I, I'm just saying, there are some legal steps that need to be done to improve the uh, legal set, like system of trolls. Wow, culture that at least seems to eat children having a legal system that's incredibly cruel. No. Hey, we have. there are many types of grubs, Canny. You have no evidence. You have no evidence those are troll grubs. That's troll grub juice. Maybe. You might have a little evidence. 
A little evidence, but not a lot. Let's flip it. Yo, the art. Whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. The coin tumbles to the air. Lemon snout is sweating bullets. Doom. A favorable flip. The senator excels in relief. Hehe. <laughs> but what are you so happy about, Lemon Snout? He looks a bit confused. He quivers his lowly proboscis on the coin. See, the coin has exonerated him. Coin? What coin? Surely you jest, Mr. Senator. The prosecution sees no coin. She's blind, remember? Oh my god. Wait, wait. Are you questioning this alien society? That's not very culturally accepting of you. I mean, we just saw this prosecutor... We just saw this prosecutor, like, rig this and then hang this person. Visions of blood and carnage that plague your species subconscious. Unfair justice doesn't say it ain't so. Wait, big F. Yo, can, yeah, everyone, I'm big sad for Lemon Snout. She's blind, remember? I, I love it so much. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Um, Terezi, do you just hang everything? Like, everyone? Is that, is that just how it goes? Like, do you never let any of them go free? F for Lemon Snout. Thank you, Mary. Lemon Snout is a murderer? But I thought, but I thought Lemon Snout just embezzled. I mean, the murderer of the, of the bank account, perhaps. Oh, my God. The tree is really pretty. Lemon Snout has gotten... The just reward. Adjourned. Another triumph for justice. The court block is adjourned. You offer your final salutations to his tyranny in the customary manner. Okay, that's not customary at all. You really shouldn't lick things. You're just kind of weird. It's just that your red chalk is the most delicious chalk. You cannot get enough of it. Anyone who says there is a more delicious chalk out there simply reeks of deceit. I love her so fucking much. You sure had to go through a lot of trouble to do that. <laughs> okay, you had to literally stack up your books. You take your walking cane, which you use as a, a weapon, kind of like Earth Daredevil, who you've never heard of. Literally Earth Daredevil. Or Troll Daredevil, I should say. You'll use it to wallop enemies when you enter the medium. Like this. Watch out. Whoa. Okay. So the cane will whoosh up and turn in. There's a spike attached. She can use it as nunchucks. That's badass. That's absolutely... Oh, wait. The wit hey, the witness wasn't murdered. The witness died in a freak accident. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say about that. You can't prove otherwise. Terezi's planet looks super cool. Absolutely. Let's see. Begin recruiting red team members. <clears throat> your nose begins to, uh, scouring your chump roll, your chump roll through the saliva smears on your monitor for potential teammates you can start playing. Hmm, no, not her. No, nope, not her either. Definitely not that guy. Okay, how about this girl? You like to roleplay with her sometimes via chat. You pretend you are a member of the mysterious and noble Dragonied race, which she does well, while she does her own goofy thing. You don't have it in your heart to tell her your chat RPing is merely uh, factitious, though. Or, f I mean, facetiously. Or facetious. Is meant facetiously. Gotcha. Troll TC. Have we seen TC before? No. TC is brand new. TC is absolutely brand new. Okay. Rest in peace, Orange Sniff. Let's see. The death of Ace Reporter Orange Sniff will be remembered. He did trip and fall into that ornate dagger. Thank you. Nagasha knows what's up. Absolutely. Oh, it's AC, not TC. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let me just change that in my notes. Okay. GC lands on your whelping stoop and wraps and wraps on your cave with her noble and elegant talon, and once with her mighty snout for good measure. AC saunters from her dark cave with a little bit, uh, a little bit sleepy from the recent kill. <laughs> Just like I liked all the faces at the beginning of everything. AC uses uh, AC uses one of her mouths to lick the fresh blood off her paws, and the other one to blow you a kiss. GC with a mighty whisk of her mighty tail plucks the kiss from the air mightily. GC pockets the kiss in her enchanted rucksack for later to do something magical, like make goblin wishes come true. Yes! AC finds that to be the most admirable use of a kiss. She thinks that goblin wishes need to come true too, just like any other kind of person's wishes. Any kind of person's wishes. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> we got the cat. A person's favorite troll says a lot about them. <laughs> Cole, are you going to say that for every single troll that pops up? 
AC begs your pardon while she rips apart this tasty beast to prepare a meal for her cubs. GC sees the beast, eyes the beast hungrily and mightily. Oh! GC eyes the cubs hungrily and mightily, especially mightily. Don't you dare! I mean, AC shouts, don't you dare! Indignantly. But it's too late. GC scoops up four, scoops up a plump club with her glistening majestic tail and flies off magically. The innocent cub is crying and crying and crying. AC says, no! And looks a little crestfallen. AC gets a clever idea and, uh, to slake the majestic dragon's mighty hunger. She prepares the lion's share of the slain armored choler bear for GC. GC magnif magnif GC's magnificent curiosity has been perked. Is it for, is it, is it a bull collar bear? Collar bear? Yeah, collar bear, because polar bear. Oops, she asked that. AC pauses a moment and nods knowingly with a couple of smug grins on her face. She confirms it is indeed the bulliest of bears. GC instantly, instantly loses interest in the puny cub and drops it to the ground far below. Oh my god, this is amazing. The uwu thickens. The uwu definitely thickens. Uh, let's see. But as it happens, a really cute cub lands in a bush safe and sound. Woo! GC's alarming and splendiferous girth settles over the succulent polar bear's steak. When she finishes the savory red meat, she lifts her proud, wise head and opens her great big mouth and speaks the ancient tongue of a thousand wisdoms. She says, Hey, do you want to play a game with me? AC crinkles up her nose and prepares for a really unprecedented marathon of baffling feline obstinacy. Her dragonied suitor would need would make will make neither rhyme nor reason of her perplexing her perplexing behavior for even an instant. No, that was a real question. Wanna play a game? Oh hey <laughs> Oh no that's oh <laughs> if you mean a computer game then yes that sounds like fun. Okay, you can be on my team. Are you guys hearing the screaming that my wife is doing while playing Fall Guys in the background from across the house? I will be right back. I use the opportunity to also go and get water. She is playing Fall Guys and dying terribly. Yeah, no, no, she can, you know, no, it's fine. <laughs> she'll, she'll be screaming. I just asked her to just a tiny bit quieter. That's okay. It's a rubber sound effects for CG's courtroom, our feet. Well, let's see. Where, oh, God, it's so hard to find my place in, in on these pages, these long pester logs, um, or trollian logs, whatever we want to call them. Um, who else is playing? I haven't decided yet. A whole bunch of us in two teams. Oh, well, it does sound like it would be a lot of fun, but I think I should get permission first. You don't think uh, Carcat does a courtroom RPs? Did I say Carcat when I meant to say Terezi? Let's see. Remember when Homestuck had short pages? I mean, to be fair, the pages that's just like Terezi, like, uh, like questioning people, is uh, those are pretty short. Very intense. I, I, I must have said car cat when I meant Terezi. My apologies. <clears throat> um, oh, that's so stupid. He's not the boss of you. I know, but I'm still kind of scared of him, and I think perhaps it's best to just run it by him first if there isn't a kerfuffle about it or anything. This is stupid in such a terrible myriad of dumb ways. You shouldn't be afraid of anyone. You kill big animals with your bare hands, and in any case, he lives nowhere near you, so the whole thing is extra stupid. Uh, AC kills bare animals with her bare hands? But I don't think it'll be a big deal. I'll just mention it casually and it'll be fine. I'm sure then we can play for a little bit. Fine. In the meantime, I will go round up some more people to play. Okay. So now we're going over to TC, which is Gamzee. Yeah, let's go. Let's see. There, <laughs> but damn if these logs don't compensate. No, that's absolutely true. They are very long. Yo, wait, wait. wait. Actually, this one's short. Hey, Gamzee, do you want to play some games with me? And then this is... You then proceed to have the rest of this conversation we already read. No luck in getting this guy to play with you right now either. You guess that leaves. Oh no, not Carcat. You were going. He looks very John-like in this picture. I would just like to say, like the kind of it, like kind of the der like the derpy look. I love it. You're only going to ask him as a last resort. You wonder what he wants. He will try to avoid mentioning. You will try to avoid mentioning the game. Hopefully, he hasn't caught wind of it yet. Let's deal with Carcat. I love Teresi so much. <clears throat> Hey, guess what? Big news. Like, holy shit, stop the press. This is a humongous deal sort of news. Oh, what is it? You're not the red team leader. That's me. I'm the leader. It's been decided on an official basis. Yo, come here, animals. Oh, my goodness. 
Let's see, let's see. Uh, so I guess I'm supposed to make a big stink about this and say, why, why, I want to be the leader? What? No, I mean, you can, but it won't do any good because I'm the leader and that's all there is to evacuate through your protein shoot on the matter. Well, it may surprise you that you know I don't give a crap about who gets to be leader because unlike you, I actually have a fucking smidgen of maturity and self-respect. That's a lie! You're more of a melodrama spaz queen than me and you know it and this stuff is say and this stuff you're saying is a pretend stunt. You're like a rocket propelled spaz maggot, spring loaded up the ass of a psychedelic fucking freak out weasel on idiot drugs. So let's not play make believe games here. Leader me. Uh Carcat, I don't care. You can be the stupid leader, I just wanna play this game. Okay, great! If it's any consolation, I've selected you to be my second in command. Really? Swoon! Fuck you, offer, offer rescinded. Okay, but seriously, I would have suggested you be, the, you be the leader, but honestly, it comes with serious responsibilities, and if I wasn't sure you were up to it. What are non-idiot drugs? I mean, like, penicillin? Um, let's see, let's see. You ship these two cap fucks, caps lock queens? I mean, they have an interesting dynamic. All the characters have such interesting dynamics. And now that we have a total of, like, 18 of them, I'm going to start, like, blowing my brain out, like, trying to think about it. And be like, oh, and then boom, explosion. Let's see. Um, how could you think that? I'm an incredible leader with all kinds of uh, prioritization and command skills. I'm going to rock the cock off this weather vane, and blue team will wish they would never slither out of that motherfucking grub's heinous, undulating asshole. So give me the full briefing. What do you know? Okay, the thing you need to know is that the leader starts out by running the client application, while the lowly second officer connects to you with the server while I remain generally in awe of your manly grandeur. And I sit at my computer doing menial chores in support of your heroic escapades, which honestly, I don't think you're ready for, but whatever. See, this is what I was talking about. This is what I was made for. Being in charge of an adventure, running around and stuff, and fucking shit up like a goddamn hero with a ripper wasp in his jout. Let's get cracking here. Launch with your server or whatever. I'll install the hero program. The client. Yeah. Okay, but if you insist, far be it from me to stop you from being so dashing and courageous. And to be perfectly honest, a little bit handsome. Yes, exactly. Now you're making sense. This is the kind of thing that sane people say. Keep at it. There's hope for you yet. What? Okay, I'll try. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll try. Anything to get you to stop being such a baby. What's a baby? Oh, it's like a mythical little pink monkey. Something my l uh, luscious dreams are about. Oh. Something, um, that, that sounds important, actually. That, that sounds really important, actually. Was that a bird in the background or lolly? That was 100% lolly. That was 100% lolly. Um, one second. That seems interesting. Terezi dreams of babies. That seems like a detail that is very important. Maybe because they mentioned that all, that all their dream selves were dead. Maybe they're, they're dreaming, maybe their dream selves are seeing the like the earth kids or, or the paradox clones you heard another scream absolutely lucis yeah and that's lucis uh lucis dreams whatever that means that could be their word for something else out of context that sounds kind of funny i mean that's fair yeah so six uh did i say oh yeah you're right you're right four humans yeah, yeah. I, can, I can do math real good, Bluegrass. I do math real good. Um, let's see. Yeah, it was totally 16. <clears throat> let's see. I thought you didn't have one. I don't. Yet. I'm not allowed to. Why not? Why have you never mentioned this anyway? Honestly, Terezi, it sounds like more f uh, frothing loony block nonsense. If I ever did have one, it would mean that the world was coming to an end. Oh, thank God you just said something normal. I was starting to worry there. Woo, back in sane land. It's true. I don't completely understand it, but that's what it told me. We need to get you out of that fucking tree and into a proper goddamn lawn ring. You've been stunted living there by the whispers of fucking bark gnomes or something. I think one of my, my neighbors was just cold recently. Maybe you could live there. No, we screw lawn rings. More like yawn rings. I love my tree, but you're welcome to visit sometime. It's especially nice in the third autumn. Okay, well, speaking of that, I should go downstairs and deal with the grumpy customer. It's going to fondle... It's going to fondle major seed flap, but hopefully it'll be quick. You can establish your connection and do your trivial sidekick stuff, okay? I guess in the meantime. Okay. So there was a lot in there. So, interesting. You're not allowed to. So, Lucis dreams are something about their society that exists. That's very interesting. Yo, as lolly scream. <laughs> One of my natures was cold recently. Yeah, I picked up on that, uh, uh, canny. 
That makes me very interested in what the culling process is. Yo, Carcat's world looks super cool. I love Alternia. F for cold neighbor. Let's see. Carcat. Durr. Oh my god. After the Night of Blood's heroic arrival to the land of Polson. And... Oh. Okay. Oh, you were talking about Carcat's world. Oh. Oh, we're are we skipping ahead real quick? Okay. Oh. Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> I have to write this stuff down. Also, my, my voice is dying a little bit. I wonder why. I wonder why my voice might be dying after this stream. <clears throat> okay, so... I need to write all of this down. So, the land of Pulse and Haze. Carcats. And he is a Knight of Blood. Gotcha, which I guess so interesting. So yeah, so what what I was saying before that it seemed like combinations. Ah, thank you guys. It looks like uh, Trezzy did some decorating of his home too. Absolutely, I kind of dig this. Well, we are skipping ahead. You quickly craft a new weapon. Home smell you later. Plus some cool other stuff. Carcat, deal with Trezzy. You can see me, right? Tell me what is wrong with this picture. No, I can't see you, dumbass. Oh, yeah. Anyway, place your nose against your slobbery screen and tell me what is wrong with this picture. Smells pretty terrible. That's because you just took a hard drag of my load gaper, which for some reason I've discovered outside on this little island. You mean your toilet? Um, yeah, Terezi actually mentioned Night of Blood in conversation with Rose. I actually vaguely remember that. That is a sick title. A Blood Knight is a trip for someone who absolutely loves combat and thrill combat itself. That makes total sense. Thank you, uh, Moldy. But... I'm seeing a lot of um, a lot of similarities here between um, Rose and John's relationship, um, except for John was a lot more chilled out than Carcat is. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, I have actually, I actually have a thank you for reminding me. I actually have all those uh, written down, right? Um, because I figured they would come up. Yeah, Seer of Mind, Page of Breath, Knight of Blood, Maid of Time. So we will see, I guess, who all of those are related to. Carcat knows not what chill means. Let's see, let's see. Um, ooh, well, ooh la la, excuse my disdain for your blue-blooded vernacular. What color is your blood? No, none of your business. Seriously, was that a serious question? Unbelievable. I will find out someday. What is your obsession with colors? It's bad enough that you waste all my hard-earned grist rambling my hive with something that's not even in the direction of the fucking gate. But then you go and spend it on an ugly paint job. I cut a lot of imps for that grist. Carcat, please. Don't pretend you didn't enjoy going around killing things and that you wouldn't enjoy killing a whole lot more things, prancing around with your little sickle being all adorable. Yeah, right. More like, adorable bloodthirsty. I'm prancing around being that, okay? Hmm. Anyway, this is awful. There's no way for a leader to be treated. Sorry, this is what you wanted. The leader is the first one in. This is what the leader is supposed to do. No, this is not anything except for what bullshit is. A lady shouldn't be at the mercy of the hive renovation whimsy of a psychotic blind girl. When do I get the chance to fuck up someone's hive? I should be the next one to connect to a client. No, you can't. You have to be the last one to connect to complete the chain. More lies. Think about it this way. I'm the server player, so priority has to be me getting in the game. Before I get killed by meteors, which in which case you'd be screwed in there, and then this next guy comes in, and then the next, and then you bring in the last one. Well, wait, 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 wait. Meteors? What the fuck are you talking about? What does this have to do with meteors? Oh, boy, you need to go get with the program, Carcat. Have you talked to AA? 44 what? Apocalypse uh, uh, ar Arisen. Sorry. No, of course not. Or TA? Or AG, I guess? Or CA? Really, there's, like, this whole conspiracy about this? Uh, AS, I'm finding, uh, as I'm finding out. Well, why don't you just tell me so I don't have to talk to any of those double-talking assholes? I can't. I gotta step out of the tree for a moment. When I come back, I will enter the game. See ya. A little while ago. Oh. Okay. Carcalicious intensifies. Yo, yo, I need a Fergalicious cover that is just about Carcat. Oh my god. You god, you ship them coal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't blame you. They have a really, really, uh, a really, really fun uh, dynamic. You know those god tier titles. You also know which characters they belong to, but the lips are sealed. Thank you for um, not spoiling. I really appreciate it, Kanaya. Oh my god. Let's see, let's see. There is a Fergalicious cover. Oh dear god. Oh my god. Frog Temple Hive. 
Your wish has been granted. So there's a frog temple on Alter Alternia. And I'm going to write that down. Frog temple on Alternia. Don't listen. Yeah, okay, it has spoilers. That makes total sense. Okay. A lo fi version. Interesting. Let us see. Yo, whoa. I, yo, what, 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 hello. Hi, you are badass. That's, is that Virgo? Is that, is that, is that the Virgo? Aries, Aries. I'm, like I said, I don't know these symbols. Sign is Aries. Okay, I will write this down. Ooh, humana, humana. Yo, that is badass. I am digging. Um, who? Desecrate. You're not sure why you did that, really. They'll probably turn out to be a reason. There's a reason for everything. Understanding this lets you be reckless, whoever you are. Um, 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 uh, I guess we'll find out who that is later. But, oh my god. This is fantastic. We all stand this troll. <laughs> Yo, line bug. Yeah, apparently, like, that exists. I'm super excited. She is super cool. A little later. Somewhere else entirely. Rubbish from the land dwellers makes you sick, whoever you are. Oh, so this is a sea dweller. And this is Aquarius. Yeah, so this is Aquarius, and I will write down as a sea, a sea dweller. I'm having to reformat my notes as we go very quickly. Carcalicious definition makes a Terezi loco. This... Gar Yo, people hate this troll? Oh my god. Is the stream... If we don't stand this troll, is the stream hiccuping or anyone else? Um, yeah, if it, is the stream fine for most people or is that is that just bluegrass? Gotta know these things. Let me look at my stream quality. Oh, it looks alright. It looks, looks alright. It's not bad, not bad, not bad. Stream quality, good. Let's see. Okay, cool. And later still... We return to the land of Pulse and Haze so that we can rewind a bit. Before all that good paint, all that paint got slopped on your hive and before the mysterious hole was made. Man, how'd that hole get made? It was when Carcat uh, ran TA's Curse uh, Till Death program and his computer blew up. That's what happens. We'll see, that we, we'll see this happen later. It'll be startling and unexpected. <laughs> Deal with the crabby customer. Why are we jumping around so much? Oh, hello, hello, you are something. You are a, a, a monster. You are an absolute monster. Homestuck spoiling itself. <laughs> oh my gosh. You go downstairs and confront your custodian, which is another term for frightening beast known as, known as a lucis na uh, naturae. Oh! Oh, okay. So, custodian equal lucis naturae. And that explains why it talked about... Um, it talked about uh, Terezi not having one, which is equal to monster. Absolute monster. Okay. We know what a Lucis is. I don't know what a Lucis dream is, but that's interesting. F for Lolly Crab. Yeah, she's probably dying in Fall Guys. Fall Guys is a ton of fun, guys. I don't know. Would you guys be interested in watching me play Fall Guys with some people and just, like, goofing around? I know it's kind of, like, all the rage right now, but it was so much fun. Crab Dad, let's go. Your Lucis has looked after you since you were very young in lieu of any biological parents whom you've never known. None your troll, no young troll has ever known his or her blood parents, nor could such lineage ever actually be accurately traced. Adult trolls su supply the genetic material to the filial pales uh, carried by imperial drones. Imperial drones, interesting, and offered to the monstrous mother grub deep underground in their brooding caverns. She then combines all the genetic material into one diabolical incestuous slurry and lays... Oh, God. Okay. And lays hundreds of thousands of eggs at once. The eggs hatch into young larval trolls which wriggle about to locate a cozy stalactite from which to spin their cocoons. After they pup uh, pupate, the young troll with his or her newfound limbs undergoes a series of dangerous trials. If they survive, they are chosen by a member of the diverse and terrifying subterranean monster population native, native, native to Alternia. This creature becomes the troll's lucis, and together they surface and choose a location to build a hive. The building process is facilitated by carpenter droids left on the planet to cater to the young, but only for building. They are on their own otherwise. The vast majority of adult trolls are off-planet, serving some role in the forces of the ongoing Imperial Conquest, besieging other star systems in the name of Alternian glory. Glory to Alternia! The culture and civilization on the homeworld is maintained almost entirely by the young. So there's like literally a troll em empire. 
There's literally a troll Imperial Conquest. Um, okay. Alternia equals Imperial Conquest. Well, that's a thing. That's definitely a thing. That's, uh, that's definitely, uh, I didn't know we were, we were gonna be doing Stargate at a Star Sky. Nah, nah. Alternia. Yeah, you right. A, a dream that Eleusis has? Fuck off, Veldi. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. That's fair. You're not wrong. Alternia is populated only by teens, just like your local mall. It's like Logan's Run, but instead of being killed when you get older, they just enlist you. Fire Nation? Nah. Alternia. Alternia. Let's go. Okay. Trolls sure are weird. <laughs> Let's see. ba da 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 ba da ba ba da ba da ba you leap into the domestic fray in an intent to mollify your nannying aggressor. After a lot of kicking and fussing and gnashing of teeth in Carabas, you pull out a few uh, chilled rogue uh, cubes from the fridge to settle the beast down. Trolls and their custodians have a particular arrangement of codependence. The Lucius behaves as a lifelong bodyguard, caretaker, and, visual sort of and visceral sort of mentor, while a young troll must learn to function as a sort of zookeeper. We decide to agree this conflict is not big enough to deal to warrant a detailed examination of the action or an embedded musical accompaniment. We also agree that while there would have been a pretty sweet, it's, we are also kind of in a hurry here. But if it were to be accompanied by something audible, it would probably be something sound something like this. Rip cool fighting flash. I mean, the music's baller though. I love this music, it's really good. You thought it was an album link? That's fair. Is it getting quieter or is. Okay, okay, it, it is getting quieter. I thought it was my headset being super jank weird. Yo, Stargate isn't that far from where you live. It's called Heaven's Gate. Yo. Yo. What do you wait, wait, wait. what do you mean the Stargate isn't that far from where you live? Elaborate, Crises. I might be misunderstanding what you're saying. Are you talking about like the Stargate that they used in the movie and the show? Whew, that sure was awesome. Anyway, moving on. Look at that fridge car did a drawing. Yeah, it's so cute. It's nice to see that the troll kids are also um wait wait a second. What? It's funny because Karkot's strike statement is called Showdown, and, and, uh, oh, and June's is called Showtime. I gotta look at this. Oh, no. Google results. Oh, I see. I see what you mean now. Oh, okay. That's cute. That's really cute. The portal. We just gotta pop right in. It's time to get moving. On the double. Yeah. This is a pretty cool dude, okay? Some people think that he's cool. He sometimes. He guesses they're right. I mean, maybe. If they say so. Actually, you know what? They're right. This guy's dynamite lit in a box of hot shit. Screw the haters. Anyway, he's standing around being all chill like cool dudes are known to do sometimes. Also, look at that fucking, like, spinning knife weapon. I love it. He's just throwing weapons. I love... Okay, there's way too much honey in their computers. I just want to say that. Uh, anyway, he's standing around being all cool and chill, and you know what? And they're not moping around doing busy migraines or whatever. Though I can't... There was a sentence in there somewhere. A cool dude like this probably doesn't have a cool name, or probably has a really cool name, or at least a name that doesn't completely fucking suck. Like, at least not the kind of name that belongs to someone you'd want to just perpetually wail on. Maybe just a name that makes you cringe a little, but you can guess you can deal with it if you gotta. It's just a guy's name. It's not like it really matters. Who cares? But he probably wouldn't tell you what it was if you asked. He'd be way too moody for that. In fact, this guy probably thinks you got some attitude and probably doesn't want a damn thing to do with you. You could always try to guess his name, but instead of that, here's a better idea. Why don't you fuck off and go to hell? Here, name this kooky broad instead. What? 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 <laughs> Stop jumping around. Stop jumping around. Oh my god. Yeah, they had them. Shurikens, you have Sol... Uh, let's see, let's see. Solix is dope. I don't know who that is. Maybe that is that person. Maybe that is that person. Oh, okay. Don't look. Don't scroll up. It was too late, Box. It was too late. <laughs> oof, big oof. Okay. That's okay. I'll probably forget about it. I'll probably forget about it. Uh, oh well. You're having Chinese food and pizza? You feel like you're living the true Strider life lifestyle? I mean, that sounds wonderful. Yo, I, I, could, t I could have some takeout. Oh man. Yo, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Like, it's not like that, that means anything to me. Uh, we'll see. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It was an accident. It's totally fine. Yo, the Dave callbacks in this intro are fantastic. 
Uh, let's see, let's see. Pepe hands. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Hello. I want to learn this one's name. I want to learn this one's name. Wait, oh, okay, what's her name? Wait, you gotta be kidding me. It looks like we're going back to the other guy. All right, hang on. It appears this cool and moody dude has had a change of heart. He feels pretty bad about flying off the handle like that, as if shit wanted nothing to do with the handle. Shit would like to reconcile with the handle and perhaps seek marital counseling. Yo, that is a direct callback to Dave. I love it so much. What's his name gonna be? Your name is Solix Captor. Um, yeah, and he's TA. So Solix. Okay, it was like barely like a spoiler. It was a, it was a like a five minute spoiler. So it's okay. It all worked out in the end. It all worked out in the end. Let's see. And TA is Gemini, right? If I recall. Let's see. Look at the bees. Yeah, there are so many bees and like honey around. They're in the two pods. I noticed the two pods. Let's see. Big old Solix. <laughs> yeah, you spoiled it only like two pages in advance, Bonks. You were totally fine. <laughs> Yeah, that was hardly a major... Like, if somebody has... If someone had said something about how blank, 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 blank. Notice how Solix Captor is an anagram for Pollux and Caster? Oh, that's actually really interesting. I would not have noticed that. That's a really cool detail, Rain. That's really cool. I love that a lot. You are apeshit bananas at computers, and you know all the codes. All of them. You are an unchallenged authority on apiculture networking. And though all your friends recognize your unparalleled achievements as totally shit hacker, you feel like you could be better. Or a totally sick hacker, not a shit hacker. I mean, you could be the shit hacker, but this is a totally sick hacker. It's one of the number of things you sort of beat yourself up about for no very good reason during sporadic and debilitating bipolar mood swings. You have a penchant for bifurcation and logic and in life. I'm going to actually write that down. Uh, that Solix is bipolar. Um, your mutant mind is hounded by the psychic screams of the imminently deceased. Oh, and speaks the dead. Okay, that's an interesting detail. Speaks to dead. Speaks to dead. What? That's details that we should have. Speaking to dead. Solix is not the reason for your love of bees, but the bees are the reason that you love him. All about the duality. The duality of man. Imminent... Wait, no. Imminently deceased. Not... Ooh... Oh, that, yeah, that's, that, that's prophetic rather than, oh, that's bad. Speaks to almost dead. Speaks to the almost dead, I should write down. <laughs> yup, that's real bad. That's real bad. Bees, line bug, bees. And yet, unlike the typical sightless prophets of doom, you are gifted with vision twofold, for now. You have developed a new game, adapted via code parsed from the runes and glyphs of an ancient underground temple. You believe this game to be the salvation of your race, so you're not sure how yet. To ensure success, you will, be distribute, you will distribute the game to two teams of your friends, a red team and a blue team. You will lead the latter group. Your troll tag is Twin Armageddons, and you tend to speak with a little bit of a lisp. What will you do? Equip throwing stars. What? And, okay, and also he is psionic. Like, the thing that should not exist in 5e for D&D. Also can hear not speak to you. That is, a, that is an important detail. That, you're right. That is an important detail, Bluegrass. Has him screaming. That's terrifying. That's genuinely terrifying. Yo, that is badass, though. Why would you do that? A high-level Sonic has no use for any particular specifist allocation. You're about to make short work of the specibus, and... Oh, God! One of your bee house mainframes. The silicone was sliced clean through your foolish maneuver. What were you thinking? The workers paired up and danced angry messages to you in binary code. <laughs> nice little... Nice, cute little joke. It sounds a bit unpleasant to have the screams of dying people in your head all the time. Uh, yeah, no, I think that would be highly unpleasant. Yes. The real Stargate is in Discord. You can actually tell what it is from the TV show. Okay, awesome. I'll check it out after this. Let's see, let's see. You love the binary joke? I also love the binary joke. Yo, Beekeeper is traumatized by the uh, the damaged bee culture right now. Not the bees! Muffled screaming in the I'm sorry, Melody, I'm sorry. Let's see. No! You don't under any circumstances... You do not, under any circumstances, eat the mind honey. The consequences are highly unpleasant. You cultivate the honey for your looses. It helps him to not be such a complete idiot all the time. Merely most of the time instead. The mind honey. Calm those bees down. Snap. 
nap time. He can just make things go to sleep. How OP is this troll? <laughs> Lolly is equivalent to Silix's soon to be dead, be dead voices. <laughs> oh my god. Silix's super OP. What in the world? Let's see. Oh, I guess Zek isn't here today. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, I shall bless someone with the power of modhood. Who here knows this uh, comic inside and out and is also not an asshole? Oh, hey, remember this? Oh, it's a Homestuck link. Oh! Oh, shit, you right, though. You right, though. Interesting. Interesting. Nice details. Let's see. You're not you, not your home, but you like bee friends. You are not a bee? Her. Her. Let's see. You're always you're always up to your nook in the newest and hottest games. It is hard to walk around the place without squishing them. Whenever that happens, you are screwed, and you have to grow a new one from scratch. Uh, you can squish games? Is this how... Oh, their games are run by grubs. That's super weird. Oh, that, that's uncomfortable a little bit. Um, or, you're just, or you can just pirate it, you guess. But tonight is no night for games. Well, okay, it is. But just one game in particular, and this game is no joking matter. It is Delirious Bug Nasty. Recruit the team leader. Um, let's see, let's see. TZ, you want to be the leader of one of the two teams? You mean for your game to save the world? Yeah. Okay, I picked the red team. Okay, I didn't say anything about a red team or that there were two teams, but fine. Obviously, you were going to set up a red team and blue team. Come on. You don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, stop being such an... Uh, stop be, uh, being... Stop being as though you can read my mind. It's not a power you have. Your strength is being blind and tricking people about stuff. But I guess it's generally savvy and pretty decent at other stuff. That's why I'm picking you and not some other fucking schlub from the, from the idiot row. It's fine. You were a mod on a YouTube channel, but you don't know how different Twitch is. Uh, basically, just delete spoilers, Melody. That's fine. I'll, 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 you're, you're here for pretty much all the Homestuck streams. Like, yeah, let's. I will mod you, and just make sure, like, for the Homestuck stuff, to just uh, delete spoilers. Do 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 do. I can mod you somehow. How do I mod you? Do 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 do. I always forget how to mod. There it is. Congratulations, Molly. You have been upgraded. <laughs> you have been upgraded. You have no experience modding your, or nor confidence in your ability to do so. Test post for deletion. Pretend you spoiled something. Candy's always spoiling shit all the time. Just immediately time out, delete. Delete. Ban Candy. Do not ban Candy. <laughs> is Re-Recursive here? They mod other streams? I don't know. I Re recursive said some stuff earlier. I don't know if Re-Recursive is still here. But, um... But yeah, having more than one would probably be just fine. Basically, one technique you found for without a mod is someone puts where everyone spams stuff until it's pushed off screen. Yeah, congratulations, Meldy. <laughs> I hope I did not force power on you and you did not want it. I can always remove it and we can we can talk about it in Discord, like setting up some mods. Meldy is officially knight. Meldy is a <laughs> Meldy is now a knight of spoilers. Um, let's see, Big Pog. Selix, please. Uh, Selix, please. You are like you are Mr. Apple Appleberry Blast, and everyone knows those things are your favorite flavors. Even though you type in yucky mustard, which is weird. Maybe there is uh, more to me than you think, and maybe I'm not to be. I'm not the two trick hoofbeat you want to make me out as. Maybe I just want to give the red and blue thing a a rest for a change, and not make it into like, oh, look, that predict predictable fuck with those two stupid colors. It's amazing how everyone fucking hates them. Maybe red and blue aren't that great, and I hate them suddenly. Have you thought of that? Maybe I'm more of an aubergine guy, or whatever that putrid color is you type with. What is it, turquoise? Maybe it's making me turquoisey. Maybe the new name for the color is summer shithead mist. Have you considered that? But I'm sticking with red and blue, uh, so maybe you should suck on it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe is a stupid word. Maybe that's the big, the maybe we should all ponder about tonight. Over some hot stuff. Over some hot... Shut the hell up. So you think I'm savvy? Yeah, I think so. Uh, pick whoever you want for the red team, and I'll lead you to the blue team. I'll send the download soon. Talk to you later. Wait! Maybe you should tell me more about the game first. 
how exactly are we saving the world? I don't know yet. I just want to. Uh, I just want. I've seen. I just know what I've seen in my vis vision. Is that supposed to just be visions? Okay, okay. There's a lot because there's two eyes and then an S and then a two and then yo Arbol. Hey, um, we started Act Five and we are meeting a ton of the trolls. We are meeting so many of the trolls and. I feel like I am going through the pages slower because they are getting progressively more difficult to read. Strife specifist ban hammer. <laughs> it is a okay, Meldy. Like, just take your time. You, uh, oh, you, will you click in order to do it? Um, you can just, if you go up to somebody's message and you click their name, um, I believe you can just bada bing, bada boom, delete the message through. Oh, I'm usually timing people out rather than deleting their message. Uh, I don't actually, I don't actually mod my own Twitch chat very often, so. Melty is a mod. Let's see, let's see. Hey, attack helicopter, remember so uh, speaks with a lisp? I'm trying, but I'm actually, like, starting to melt my own words. Uh, so, if I'm, if I'm skipping out on the lisp, it's actually just because, uh, like I'm done. You might have to refresh to get mod powers. Imagine having mods you could never. I mean, I, I mean I can't. I mean I'm terrible at learning the interface for Twitch, so <laughs> it's very helpful. Yeah, we make Carcat, uh, Yamzy, Terezi, and Solix. Exactly, Bluegrass. But yeah, that's what we got. Um, I don't know yet. Uh, that the world will end and our whole race will die, and this is how we save it. And AA can back me up on this, so don't be doubting me about it. I'm not doubting you. I think you're right, mostly. Mostly, what does that mean? Uh, well, when you talk about how you're going to die, too. I am going to die, too. I mean, we all are, but especially me. And I'm going to get my ass served to me twofold. Double the service, like two dudes on a double butler island. Two dudes on a double butler island. Getting worked over by two, uh, by, by, by Siamese twin, um, masseuse. But before I die, I'm going to go blind like you. It has to happen like that. I'm not sure why, but I think it's like fulfilling some requirements for a true prophet of doom. In order for the visions to be right, that has to happen, and the universe will make sure it will. It's like how a prophet earns his stripes by being blind, like how an angel earns its wings. What's an angel? Some terrible mythical demon with these awful feathery wings. Yikes. Paradox space, uh, Utu... Paradox Space uses them to usher in the... Whoa! That's a detail. That's a detail. Paradox Space uses angels to usher in the end. Okay. There is a lot going on here with the whole prophet nonsense. Usher in the end. Hey! Melody, you got to figure out? Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. We don't know which trolls we caught them, so, but there were three of them. Yeah, there were a couple extra ones. Let's see, let's see. Let's go. Yo, yo, is Meldy... Uh, mod get, is Meldy going to go mad with power now? Have I made a mistake? Maybe Meldy really is a knight of blood. Confront confrontation. Um, how does it know what angle to use? Huh? So, yeah. We will all die, but most especially me. End of story. But don't talk about the, take this wrong way, but how can you totally be sure about all that? How do you know that some of the real visions you're having aren't getting kind of tangled up with uh, sort of the way you feel about yourself? Sort of the way you are about yourself? What do you mean? How you get mopey and you're always like the victim of something? How sometimes you think you suck when you really don't? Maybe that's clouding your vision? Okay, that's just some personal, private, emotional issues and that I'm dealing with. And honestly, I appreciate not throwing that in my face every goddamn opportunity you like. Like, this is some big circus act to you. And that is your own special clown pie. See? God. So sensitive. Honestly, like, Terezi was just trying to, like, be super nice there, I think. I think Terezi was trying to, uh... Can a mod ban the streamer? Her. Oh, you use they? Okay, my apologies, Meldy. My apologies. I don't know why I, like, jumped around pronouns. I will, I will be more mindful in the future. Yo, Meldy climbing uh, their esch their ladder to mod status. What angle to use? I love the pun. I love the pun line bug. Let's see. Seriously, talk to talk to AA. They will collaborate corroborate everything. You and she are pretty tight, aren't you? Not really anymore. She used to be a lot of fun, but now talking to her, I don't know. It just always always makes me sad. 
Okay, well, tonight's not about fun. This is serious. Deliriously so. We are in Smyrna's uh, shit-stained city. Screw you and your shit stains. I will have a fucking blast and you can't stop me. Blue team scum. Oh shit, it's on, sucker. Oh my goodness. Yo, hey, is this AA? Is this is this AA? Cause oh my god. I love I love her so much. I love her so so much. Let's see. Donk Duk That Okay, that was completely meaningless. What was the point? Whoever you are. Let's see. Let's see. Did you set up the teams? Still working on it, but more or less. We should be playing soon. And I guess leaving this dimension, is that what happens, right? Yes. So I guess you should be pretty happy we're finally getting out of here. Yeah. yeah. Miss Alcoholics Anonymous herself. AA. I'm guessing that's AA. Don't tell me if I'm right, but I'm guessing that's AA with the boom, boom, boom eyes. So I guess if she, uh, I don't know about that. Oh, will you at least be able to leave the voices behind? I don't know about that either. Isn't that kind of depressing? The, they thought, I, the thought that they might stay with you till you die? Not really. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with a lot of things, even our inevitable failure, though it will briefly masquerade as victory. Wow, fuck. That was so much more depressing than the thing I just said. Terezi was right, you are such a drag to, to talk to these days. She was right about a lot of things. What a mysterious thing to say. I am so intrigued. Do me a favor and spare me any spooky conundrums tonight. You're kind of pissing me off. But you like to talk to me. That is a fact, not a question. They told me. Oh, your sources have spoken. Relay a message for me. Tell them to go haunt my huge creaking bone bulge. Why do you like to talk to me? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you're supposed to save the world together. Uh, I also talk to you because, in case you haven't noticed, I despise myself and perpetually seek duplic uh, seek to duplicate through emotional pain the cacophony of physical pain my hideous mutant brain causes me every day. Oh, God, I just had a breakthrough. Thank you so much for this. This was great. That was a joke. Here, type ha. Ha. Now type it again. Ha. There you go. You're officially the life of the party. Oh, my God. So spooky. Yeah, I like it. I like the spooky text. Spooky for me. And at the Aries symbols uh, icon pop, I mean, the, the Aries girl we said is indeed AA. Awesome. Baller. AA has some dom energy. I mean, you're not wrong. Who I kind of love her. I don't know why. Like, cause I just kind of love her, and I have a feeling. Imagine having a splitting headache, headaches constantly. Poor Solix. Absolutely. It is kind of the big rough. I feel really bad for Solix, honestly. Like, cool psionic powers, but also constantly being in pain. Huh. She is very good, ghoul. I agree. Most of the trolls are great in their own ways. Solix has to deal with headaches, screaming, voices of the dead, and bees. I think Solix enjoys the bees, though, right? Like, that's what it seemed like. <laughs> it just took an embarrassing video of you cutting loose there. Boy, I sure hope this juicy nugget doesn't wind up on the internet. Well, I like the eyes. The, whoo. Solix, I would actually like it if you were happy. Okay. Thanks for saying so. You seem sad and angry all the time. What does anger feel like? I forgot. Have you ever been angry? I don't remember you getting angry about anything. Maybe I never was. I feel like I was, though. Once. Why don't you ask Harkon? He's way angrier than me. For, the ma for that matter, why don't you get on his case about it instead of mine? I think his anger serves a greater purpose. It's part of his destiny and thus ours. Hence the Knight of Blood being tied to his anger. That makes a lot of sense. Yo, the, the eyes, whoosh. I forgot what anger feels like. Yeah, no, that, that sentence actually makes me really sad. But uh, the interesting insight into the way that Karkat's Car anger is, like, central to who he is and, like, his destiny. This is a big sad. It'll help him to sabotage his own designs, which are very much in opposition to the broader purpose, and will sow the seeds of our failure, a failure which will ironically prove to be mission critical. So did the trolls have to fail so that they could help the Earth kids? Is that the implication here? And of course, the good old rhetorical, for anyone who is not used to this chat. Ah, thank you. Hmm. If you think we we're going to fail, then why wouldn't you get mad at me about that? At the voices ending... Why wouldn't you get mad about that? At the voices sending you down this blind alley the whole time. They never lied, though. This is how it had to be. I have to be totally honest, though at no point did I ever lie, but through omission, 
This game will not save the world. The fuck? And though it is still very important even of our defeat, unfortunately it is much closer to serving as the instrument of our people's demise than that of their salvation. And we twelve will behave simultaneously as the pawns and orchestrators of the great undoing. I don't want to play anymore then. You will though. Fuck that, just watch. This shit is deleted. Or is, or, or is dusted. Check me out, I'll dust in it like it's some saucy fucking um, maid. It cannot be stopped. Meteors are on route. You know this, Solix. Who cares? I'm yanking the grub tube on this overpunctured bitch. I'm telling the red team leader to forget about the whole thing. I'm quitting as the blue team leader. If you want to shamble through this macabre fantasy of your solo, then be my guest. You are never going to be the team leader, though. Which is to say, the first to enter. Are you messing with me? You do realize I'm psychic too. I could pull so much trippy shit out of my spinal crev uh, crevice, it would make your head spin like a dervish in a fucking blender. So get off your fucking hoofbeat. I'm coming up. Huh? Up where? Hello? Solix? Aboard. Oh boy, shit's about to hit the fan. Shit is about to hit the fan. Does she have to? Does she have no choice but to obey the voices? I don't know, Arbolg. That's a great question. I'm getting the impression that she has been so like I don't know. I, I can't. I don't have the answer. I don't have enough information to make like a call on that. But I am wondering if she um, has just obeyed them for so long that she's almost dependent on them. But it's hard to tell. You shift this mustard and ketchup conversation. Uh, wait one second. I got. I got. I got a cough. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna mute the mic real quick. No one. Hey, hi, my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way, and I have long ebony hair, and oh my god. I'm not related to Gerard Way, but I wish I was because he's a major fucking hottie. Yo, Gerard Way, though. Gerard Way and, um, and Umbrella Academy got me hooked. Thanks, Kenny. It is not Corona Cole, or at least I fucking hope not. I would be very sad. Imagine how shitty Solix is feeling. Damn. No, absolutely, Kenny. Like... To be told that you were going to be saving the world and working hard to, like, adapt that game to a modern grub game, and to be told that it's going to be the instrument of the destruction of the world, like, that's super fucking rough. Like, I don't know. And he's already had, and on top of that, he has a migraine. Let's see. TA began drilling GC. Okay, and TA is going to be our, our boy Solix. Hey, change the plan. We aren't playing this game anymore. You don't have to bother recruiting. Sorry to waste your time. I'm not the leader anymore. Carcat is. He is? He threw a tantrum about it, so I let him be the red leader. Okay, that was fairly predictable, but that's fine. I'll talk to him about it. What's going on? Nothing. This game sucks and it's full of crap. Sorry about all this. Hey, change the plan. We aren't playing this game anymore. Hey, guess who the red leader is? I'm the leader. It's me. Your plan to cripple your rival team has failed. I, 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 I know she told me I don't care. This game is bad news. It will cause the end of the world not to stop it. So forget it. Just go back to whatever you two are doing. Shredding your shitty code or whatever. Ha <laughs> ha! So pathetic! Yeah, this is a, another feeble attempt to weaken your opposition. Terezi and I have already established a connection, and we are making great progress here. We are a great team, and I am fa a fa fantastic leader. We will beat this game in no time while your team is clearly still asleep at the thorax. Oh, God. No, you idiot. I don't care about the game anymore. Just, I, I just quit. I'm not playing. You should, too. Amazing. You're either being really persistent with this transparent ruse, or you really are just that sad and incompetent. Neither case deserves my respect or my friendship. In fact, you know what? Friendship canceled. There it is. Official. Bye-bye, friendship. Oh, like you haven't said that a billion times. You are in a position. You are in no posi aren't, aren't in any position to question my competence. You are the worst programmer I've ever seen. You don't know anything about computers. Why do you bother? The only thing you're good at is yelling and making a huge mistake, and being ugly and horrible in every way, and having stupid little nubby horns. To be honest, I don't see what's so great about your programming or hacking. What is a hacker even? Just some smug asshole in movies doing fake things and making up words. It's not even a real thing to be. It's just some bullshit title you gave yourself so you can feel a little bit less loathsome. Oh, no more childish burn. I don't have to prove anything to you. I'm a great hacker, period. No, it's all so clear now. You are a fraud all along. What does all this nonsensical code you wrote even do? It's all nonsense, like a bluff. Oh, God, my voice. My voice. <coughs> Friendship turned shit indeed. Oh my god. Oh, troll friendship, I don't understand you. Oh my god. My voice. It's all a bluff. Just say, oh, Cargat will never understand what I wrote. It's bullshit because he's too dumb to figure it out. Well, you're busted. These viruses here, I bet, do nothing at all. 
Wait, KK. I bet if I ran them, nothing bad would happen. Might even improve my computer's performance. No, don't. How about an idiotic program with a red and blue code, which is a meaningless thing to do with code anyway? What does that even mean? It's just another one of your scams. Why not set, sneak some bad clip art into the files too and pretend that's code? Oh god, no, don't run that. I'm serious. What would happen? I'm not sure, but it would be really, really bad if you ran it. Just don't. Ah, oh, just as I thought, you can't even come up with a good lie when I press you on it. Your bluff has been called. Compiling as we speak, it will auto-run when it finishes. And now I have to go attend to something outside because Terezi is doing something just unspeakably stupid right now. Well, forget I said that. It was privileged information. You are the dumbest grub fucker on the planet, I swear. Later, douchebag! KK, do not run that code! Hello? Carcino Genesis computer exploded. Oh my god! Carcad fucked up. Boom. You are highly startled by the totally unexpected explosion. <laughs> the original ho don't do it. Oh my god. TA, we're saving the world. AA. No. <laughs> Big oof. Big psych. Oh, friendship canceled, though. I hope that it gets back here. Yo, Mari! Hey, welcome to the stream! You came in at some weird times. You came in when we were dealing with some weird extraterrestrial shit, Mari. How are you doing tonight? Tonight, today, the day. The weird day. The original hoes don't do it. How did the troll even know his computer exploded? It's apparently a common, like, occurrence. You're barely alive. I'm, I heard that you were having a rough night, so I, I hope that you are home and safe. Um, and I hope that you start feeling better soon. The computer program has a built-in function to detect when a PC explodes and notify the chat participant. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I hope that, like, you can just kind of, like, chill out, um, you know, stay hydrated. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to stay hydrated during that. I could be wrong. But, yeah, I hope you feel better soon, man. Um, but yeah, Trillion has a message for when the computer explodes, which, again, I think it's because it has to happen so often. Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no. What are you going to prototype? Carcat? Please don't prototype something stupid. Please don't prototype something stupid. This is bad. Yo, Frisic, what is up? Thank you for the F for Carcat. Oh, no, crap, Dad. No. This is bad. Oh, no. Don't prototype Crab Dad, even though he's dead now. F in chat for Crab Dad. Oh. Carcat has nobody to blame but himself. Carcat's sad face. Carcat and his friends and everyone they would ever meet thereafter would experience great misfortune on account of the curse unwittingly implemented through Sulks's esoteric Mobius double reach around virus. Interesting. Every troll's Lucis would soon die. All but one of their kernel sprites would be prototyped with the dead Lucis, each prior to entering the medium. Upon entry, they would each have a bittersweet reunion with the creature after the kernel hatch, triggering the sprite's metamorphosis. For the first time, the trolls would be able to have verbal conversation with their custodians and would be guided by them along their journey. Unfortunately, the underlings and warring royalty would gain the benefits of the monstrous prototypes as well. Each sprite, except for one, would be only prototyped once. The players would learn quickly that while one pre-entry prototyping per player was absolutely necessary for ultimate success, additional pre-entry prototypings would merely empower their enemies unnecessarily. Oh... But each sprite except for one would only be prototyped once. So does that mean one sprite just keeps prototyping a bunch of shit? Oh, interesting. They are completely cursed. Interesting. We saw Carcat's prototype crab dad at the end of the intermission. Oh, did we? I do not remember that at all. Oh. Oh, no. The game has no explicit rule that demands something dead for prototyping, but in practice, the kernel sprite has a particular attraction to the deceased or doomed. Across every session ever played, exceptions to this pattern are extremely rare. Why did you send Karkat that code? It was such a bad idea. You were supposed you suppose it was a boastful gesture to get a friend to think more highly of you, but why would flaunting your superior skills accomplish this? This it was foolish. You ought to wipe all these clever viruses you wrote off your computer. They can only bring more trouble. Uh, what? Why is there a cue ball inside of- Man, this language makes no fucking sense. Oh my god, holy shit, it will never compile if, if, if these weak- Okay, this is bad, really bad virus. While deleting your virus folders, you pause on one oddball file you have lying around. You did not write this virus. You copied it from an obscure server far beyond your planet's global network. This application is running on that server perpetually. It is an extremely simple, uh, till-death program. 
Its main loop is tied to the lifespan of the universe. When the universe dies, a mysterious subprogram will execute. You have no way of knowing what the subprogram does. It runs on a protected part of the server. It is completely unhackable. You delete the file, but it won't do much good. The program is already running elsewhere. Luckily, whatever harm it will do will not be done for many billions of years. And even then, what harm could a virus do after the expiration of the universe? The fi this file has over always struck you as quite odd. I'm writing down a note. Very ominous indeed. Very creepy and very interesting, guys. John Prototype Nana, Rose Jaspers, Dave the Crow. I mean, that's fair. To be fair, the another thing that got prototyped was Dave Sprite. <laughs> Um, so that was, I mean, and that's not really, I guess that's one of the exceptions. Gamzee did, did very much deserve better. Like, oh my gosh. What is that language? What is that code? Uh, that's, uh, till death. Very simple language, you know? Um, virus at the end of the universe. That's all I'm writing. Virus at the end of the universe. This is clearly not plot relevant at all. Absolutely. Just small details are both. Small details. I wonder if, it, if this has some uh, connection to the Felbies. They're all based off of pool balls. That's an interesting. That's an interesting theory. I mean, that was David a doomed timeline. So he was. Oh, you're right. That was ten. Yeah, I guess we could interpret that as a doomed timeline. It is doomed, Dave. That's fair. But Solix, even with his vision twofold, does not have the perpetual luxuries of our of vision omnipresent. When executed, the subprogram will summon an indestructible demon into the recently voided universe. This monstrous being with the power to travel through time is inconvenienced very little by his arrival upon the Great Undoing. He has the entire cadaver of the expired universe to pick apart at his whim, from its birth through its swelling maturity and tapering decay. In a, reali in a reality he is known to have marked for predation, he will go, th on assem go about assembling followers through various epochs, even going as far as personally establishing the parameters of his first future summoning. Solix couldn't know that the virus is essentially a formality. The demon is already here. Well, okay, that's a detail. Shobi, he is already here. Okay, the demon with a capital D I'm writing is already here. Time traveling demon. Okay. Well, that makes sense if he just can travel through time. It doesn't matter when he's born. Yo, Elmo. <laughs> okay, this has gotten very intense very quickly. Sounds like your Lucis is agitated about something. You already gave him a serving of honey today. If he thinks he can get more, well, that's just greedy. No wonder it could be bothering him. Oh, wait, is that, that looks like kind of like the turtles uh, images that were in the temple way, way before. Let's see. You keep your enormous biclops chained to the roof of your communal hive stem. It's the only place where there is room for him. Dueling with him on the roof during feed time is a daily ordeal. Of course, because dueling with him is just like what Dave would do. Oh my goodness. This is... Look at the towers. Yeah, the towers are really interesting. So they do seem to have... They do look sick. I love them. So it looks like it's a, like some form of apartments. Because it does say it's communal hive stem. Oh, hello. Oh. Whoa. Well, hello. What? AA, what are you doing and why are you so cool? Why are you so cool? Be the other girl. Well, oh, you are now one of the five other girls. Well, hello. Hey, 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 hello, hello. I, I kind of dig this look. I dig this aesthetic. It reminds me very much of Rose, and I don't know why. Virgo? The Virgo troll. Okay, let's see. Who do I have set up for Virgo? Virgo. Oh, that's GA. That is GA. Okay, yeah. You simp. Yo, I dig this. Like, look at this. This is awesome. I dig her so much. Oh, oh what a cool Lucis. It's a moth. Or like a demon death moth. I like death moths. The reason that you're gay beekeeper. <laughs> Yo, I'm so down. Let's go, moth mom. Let's see. Interesting. Um, lives in a tower, like similar to Jade. That's actually really interesting. Very interesting house. Let's see. And that is right next to the Frog Temple, which is where AA currently is. So this is very much emulating. This is actually very much emulating the um, where the meteor like crash landed and seeded before. Absolutely an interesting house. 
Was the frog temple, was the other one in a cave? I might have, okay, I might have been misunderstanding. Hmm, interesting. Oh, okay. Her. She also does have a chainsaw attack helicopter, which instantly gets her 50 points. So there are two frog temples here. My notes, they run us over. So there are two frog temples. One in cave. So many details. So many details. Stop being the other girl. Hey, it's Tauros. You were, if I recall, TA? No, AT, AT, AT. You're no longer the other girl, or any of the five for that matter. What's the name of this dude sitting in his four wheel device? Yo, look at his looses. It's so cool. Oh, and he has a lance so that he can, like, joust? Yo, AT. This is awesome. The jumping around continues. It's cool there's this big desert and this little splotch of grass and uh, trees where GA lives. Absolutely. Let's see. Yo, look at this artwork that's going on. I'm down. This is really cool. I like how they just put horns on everything. Your name is, I gotta write it down, Tavros Nitram. You are known to be heavily arrested by fairy tales and fantasy stories. You have an acute ability to commune with the many creatures of Alternia, a skill you have utilized to capture and train a great many. Oh, beast tamer, basically. Uh, so basically a beast tamer. Okay, these trolls all have really interesting abilities. Or some of them do. Yo, Tavros seems really chilled out. Tavros, the worst best boy? I don't know what that means, Bongs, but I kind of like that description. Tav is fine, you guess, Cole. Oh my god. They're all your friends, as well as your warriors, which you pit in battle in a variety of card and role-playing games. Okay, nerd. <laughs> as a nerd, I, I recognize you. You used, you used to engage in various forms of more extreme role-playing with some of your other friends before you had an accident. Oh. So, he used to play with Terezi before the accident. You like to engage in the noble practice of Alternian slam poetry, probably, possibly the oldest, most revered, and certainly freshest art form in your planet's rich history. You have a profound fascination with the concept of flight and all lore surrounding the topic. You believe in fairies, even though they aren't real. Your troll tag is Audios Terrador, and you uh, speak in sort of a faltering manner. Head to the chase and play card games immediately. Woof! You kickstart a rousing match of fit, uh, fittest spawn with your only friend you've got to play with in person, your loyal Lucis Tinkerbull. You take a moment, you take a look at the favorable hand you dealt yourself and crack a mischievous smile. With a hot uh, host plush at the ready, you quickly lob an Oogni bomb and catch your adversary off guard. Okay, sure, I know the rules to this game. Oh, that hatched. Interesting. Lunge. Oh, oh it's a face hugger. Oh, God, it's a face hugger. Oh, no. Yo, Pokemon. Yeah, Rain, I caught that. Tavros is bound to a wheelchair, but is, like, really is concerned with flight. That's real. It's really sad. The incident. The accident. Oh, my goodness. God, I hatch them all. Oh, this makes me want to play Pokemon Randomizer so badly. So badly. Just even seeing this. Wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hate your favorite troll, Cole? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is gross. No. Blah! Oh, Sarani, I choose you! That's Grody. Oh my god. With a brooding whinny, Horseroni shuffles his mighty hooves and uh, makes short work of the fid, uh, or fittest sucker, boosting his vitals. Horseroni is now primed and rearing for batter, battle. Look out, Tinkerbull! Horseroni spawn tag slumber buddies. Let's see. Oh, so he can actually make a connection. Use your awesome bestial commun uh, communion powers. So he can't just talk. He can do it with his mind. He can touch it with his mind. And bend the ferocious stallion to your whim. Tinker Bull can't stand the suspense. Nap time. Everybody wins. Horse Roni gains a bunch of levels. In no time, he'll be ready to breed, and you can put him out to stud. What a terrifying beast. What a terrifying beast. Tavros is an IRL Pokemon trainer? Absolutely! The chestburster is terrifying, Rain. Oh my god. Good game, everyone! That was a lot of fun. Time to do some other stuff, you guess. Roll up your ramp. This is how you get into your recuper uh, your recuper recuper when it's time to rest. It's kind of a production it's kind of a production getting in and out. Hop in. You can't fit all the way in because of your huge horns. It makes it hard to get any solid shut eye. 
Oh, great. Now you're covered in slime. Why did you do this? You're going to have to change your clothes. There goes another solid hour down the tubes. Ah, oh, damn. There goes your four-wheel device down the ramp. That happens a lot. Oh, poor guy. Take the lance. After a major cleanup rig and roll and a lot of crawling around your respite block, you equip your jousting lance. That is really sad. Let's see. How did he even get in with a lot of upper body strength, honestly? That's how I'd have to guess. I choose you, God John Carpenter's the thing. <laughs> he needs a wheelchair with brakes. He does need a wheelchair with brakes. Just a nice little, like, lever or something to pull. Something. Let's see. Why are we getting a flashback over here? Why? Why? This bothers me. Why? Why do we have a flashback over, like, to, like, the Scarecrow over in, um, in the battlefield with Wandering Voyager? You like to practice your jousting outside. One day you hope to prove yourself worthy of recruitment into the halls of the dreadful Imperial Cavalry Reapers, assuming you have not slated for culling first on account of your disability, or really any ar other arbitrary reason. Wow, so there's culling based on disability. It's just any other arbitrary reason, so I guess it's just if they don't like you. No, it's just a similar image. I, <laughs> I mean, bluegrass, that feels, hmm, maybe. Uh -huh. Ableist society. It's art recycling re-recursive? I mean, that's fair. That's possible. That's possible. It makes me very suspicious. Very fucked up planet. You wheel over to your favorite poster featuring Poopa Pan, which is your favorite thing. You've always fantasized that one day the, the intrepid young Poopa would come out and take you. Uh, take you away, and together you would fly to a beautiful paradise planet of legend that has all sorts of fanciful stuff like pirates, treasure, a cruel villain with a missing arm and a missing eye, and those weird aliens called Indians. You have left your window open since you were very young, in case Pupo stopped by one night to decide a spl to splash a pinch of special stardust in your eye, in your face. You have this interest far prior to, the, to your accident. Being paralyzed isn't what made you want to be able to fly. That would be dumb. It would make no sense. Being para paralyzed does sort of make you want to be able to walk, though. That's fair, Tavros. That's very fair. Let's see. Let's see. Your Scorpio symbol. Oh, boy. Let's see. So the, here's the real pupa. Yeah, it's a real word. It's a real word. It is, it is part of the, uh, the progression for a lot of insects. So here's the thing about Scorpio. I am actually, not that it matters at this point, but I've unlocked the new Sweet Bro Hello Jeff. It feels wrong to do it in Troll World. Your laptop's dying. Oh no, Meldy. Oh no. So I'm actually a Scorpio. So let's go see. Oh. <gasps> I forgot. Oh wait, no. Did they show him before? Or did they show him sitting down? Did they show him sitting down before? Or did they show this? You have so much anxiety and excitement. Over the course of your long journey, at one point you were fitted with a cool pair of robo legs. The guy who likes to build robots built them for you, but then he does like to break them where he likes to build them. It's usually why he builds them in the first place. Occasionally, though, he will allow uh, philanthropy to override misanthropy. They didn't show his lower body. Okay, but this gets me super excited. Oh, I'm so happy for him. Oh, it's so rare that. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh my goodness. I love it. Um, oh, oh my, oh, oh, hello, yo, ha, yo, we all stand this woman, metal pants, oh, he mentioned, he was sitting, but he mentioned flying about on possibly being his favorite part of the adventure, you're totally right, blue grass, uh, blue glass, oh my god, you're totally right, oh, oh, that makes that so much more wonderful, look in the background, oh, oh, that's interesting, what symbol is that? Sagittarius. Sagittarius symbol. I guess, is that the robot maker? I really do feel like that sometimes. <laughs> yeah, my boy, yo, box. <laughs> Your favorite has been found. So this is one way of uh, uh, of attaching Lobo, uh, robo legs. You were looking enough to have a friend who didn't mind getting her hands dirty on account of your best interest. A friend with a chainsaw. The guy who likes to build robots just stood there and watched. It would always make everyone uncomfortable whenever you would just stand there and watch. Oh, hey, speaking of blood, that blood is brown. Wait, why don't you understand us all, beekeeper? Brown blood. Interesting. I'm just going to write that down. Brown blood. For Tavros. Let's see, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Oil, perhaps? I mean... 
Uh, yeah, but this is this is predating him getting the uh, robo legs, though, unfortunately. So that's even who Tavros types in brown too. Oh, do they all type in their colors or their their blood colors? Interesting. No, the troll the troll is just cutting the chocolate cake. It's it's Tavros's wriggling day. Yo, it's cake all the way down. It's cake all the way down. That's all I gotta say. Let's see. And way back again. But before that, you had to scoot around in your wheel device uh, throughout the various worlds of the medium and endure all sorts of follies related to your disability, which on account of their great plurability and marginal relevance, we will not get to see just as well. Well, look at, look at what happens when you space out and contemplate the future like that. The messages start piling up. Deal with AG. AG, Arachnid's Grip. Oh, interesting. Okay, AG, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to write down AG. Um, have we have seen the symbol for AG? Actually, yes. It would be this symbol. What symbol is this? What symbol is that? That is. Oh, are we deal. So, so AG is Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio's username being Arachnid, huh? Interesting. So Scorpio. AG. Let's figure out some things. She was annoying, but then you started drawing her, and now she's cool. You're going to hate her, but I simp. Oh, no. Yo, so many people hate AG. What in the world? Oh, my God. Tavros. Hey. Red team is going to bite the dust, and I know you're on the red team. Whoa, really? Yeah, you totally are. My team's got no use for a, bo for a, for a, uh, for a boy that can't make it. You oh. Yikes, that's fucked up. Yo, that's fucked up. Yo. Can the chat not immediately descend into demonhood when AG shows up? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's really fucked up. You were, uh, you were, f you, is she, is AG just using eight interchangeably? My team's got no use for a boy that can't make no use of his legs. You were fed fed for a team of lo losers, full of, uh, full of blind girls and lame boys and cranky imbeciles. What the fuck? This is really fucked up. Jeez. Interesting. Yeah, you're probably right about that, but uh, I shouldn't be talking to you? Oh, I promised I wouldn't talk to you anymore. What? Promised who? Rufio? Oh my god, who's that? I hate that this guy already. He's, uh, okay. Someone said I should give myself my self-esteem a name. And to be careful about what I say to make sure I don't hurt his feelings. Ha! <laughs> so he's imaginary! A fake! I'm like a made-up friend, the way fairies are. Made-up, make-believe, fakey fake fakes. Who told you to do something so fraudulent? G.A., but I don't know if she was joking about it. It might be a joke, uh, I don't know. But I did not anyway. Oh, man, what a meddler. I hate her meddling. Why is she always meddling? I don't know if it was a joke, but man. Uh, I don't think it was a joke. It was more like... Okay, complete this analogy. Laughing is to a joke as meddling is to... Uh, exactly! That's what she just did to you. It's worse than a joke. It is worse than anything you can do. Next time, tell her to can it. That's what I do. But she keeps bugging me. Bugging and fussing and meddling. What's her deal? I guess it's flattering that she wants me to, to, wants to talk to me so much. I guess I don't mind. It's cool. Anyway, Tafros, you've been amazingly boring as usual, so I'm going to go. Okay, this show needs to be get on the freaking road. Believe it or not, the blue team doesn't have a single player in the session yet. While well, you guys have like two or three or such. Unbelievable! I wonder what the holdup is. Oh well, let's face it, you guys need the head start. Uh... Okay, anyway, good luck to you. It'll be just like old times. Adios, Torosnor. Bye? <laughs> Poor Tavros. Um, let's see. <laughs> Don't judge you for simping your queen. I mean, I'm glad you like the voice. She did not make a great first impression, which I feel like is very intentional. Uh, like, <laughs> she, she, she did not make a great first impression. We'll say that. I need to get some water. I will be right back. Um, I mean, feel free to hate on whoever in the chat so far. <laughs> um... I, I, I get the impression, both from your reactions and just from this very, very first meeting, that she will be a, um, 
very very controversial character and i know her and i know the gender now because everybody's been using pronouns in chat but that's not a big deal i have a feeling i know this this troll's name i have a feeling i know this troll's name based on something else but i will be right back i hope you guys are really enjoying this we are i'm learning a lot about the trolls this is so much a lot of this is like a lot of talking a lot of pester logs Re-recursive is right. How can AG be best troll and best troll Andrew Hussey? <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see. Um, so TC is... Oh, yeah, TC is Gamzy. Yeah, I should have been able to tell that. Motherfuck my brother. I am so sorry. I kind of zoned out there. Hi, that's, that's okay. I wasn't expecting you to not be zoned out for any reason, so I guess I don't understand your apology. All right, fuck yeah, it's all good anyway. I just zoned out when I was supposed to be all about being to tell you that you're on my team. Oh, uh, yeah, the red team, you mean. Shit, motherfucking, yeah, my wicked motherfucker. Honk, honk, honk. Oh, that's great. I heard about this from someone I don't want to talk about, but it still basically qualifies as good news. Honk, 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 honk. Your last puppet someone said you gotta, you gotta go for a while, but you try to be back. Okay, Melody, bye. Have a good day. I hope I can see you again soon. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> oh, fuck, you stole my fucking nose, bro. Well, you even got up the gumption to be all doing the fucking shit like that. Uh, I don't know. It's just the kind of obvious thing to do. Stick the circle in front of the dots and behind the bendy one. Plus, oh yeah, my horns. <laughs> Maybe we can slam about it. Oh, we getting some Alternian slam poetry? Let's go, honk honk. Let's see, let's see. Yo, Rain, you are super sweet. That is super sweet of you to say. If a spider went, <laughs> what did they do it like this or this? Oh my god. You ship Tavros and Gamzee? They, they're really sweet to each other. They're absolutely sweet to each other. Yo, Brissick, how you doing? How you doing, Brissick? Zek was here for a second. Was Zek here? I didn't see. Whoosh, whoosh. I did not see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, I could kick the shit out of some rhymes, bro. I'll stir up some fucking hell mirth and rip open a fucking bag of harsh whimsy. Yeah, you could talk about the clowns things, which I really don't understand ever, but that's okay, because it's kind of funny. Whereas I'll address some topics pertaining to my interests. And I guess personal motifs. Yeah, fuck yeah, that's how shit will all usually up and be lo uh, fucking locked, bro. But first, here's the thing with the game. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. Hmm, I almost forgot about the red team game. Yeah, okay, if I remember right, this is how we're juggling this shit. Like, lots of fucking balls in the air. <laughs> Terezi connected to Carcat, so he's fucking chill. Then I'm supposed to connect to her soon to get her all chill, too. But she's in the woods doing something. When she comes back, she starts playing. So in the meantime, I'm supposed to get you to connect to me, but I fucking spaced out and forgot, man. Because I guess I was way too motherfucking chill all up in this shit. <laughs> Yeah, I understand. So just download this motherfucker I'm sending you so we can kick this bitch down the stairs. The stairs, bro! We warned you about the stairs! You got a sweet TCAT uh, gift, like, mini fic recently, too? Oh, really? Yo, Zek was here and I missed it? What? What? I Did I totally miss Zek? Yo, I feel bad. I feel the worst. Oh, my goodness. I feel the worst. Let's see. <clears throat> um, okay, I'll do that. And in the meantime, shall I queue up the strict beats? Oh, brother, now you all fuck, uh, fucking up and done it. You are, you are so fucking wheel deep in a big sloppy massacre pie topped with some motherfucking whipped rhyme. How strict are those beats at, motherfucker? Well, I turned up those bitches to pretty stern. Set beaches to lecture, beats to lecture, and I'm kind of going hog wild on the curmudgeon knob, which I had recently installed. God damn! Tell me more while I reach for this frosty brew. Okay, imagine being an array of beats that set the limits. They got a rule book. It doesn't pay to skim it. Because there's not a lot of latitude, they won't stand for an attitude, and crossing them's a habit you'd not really want to get into because uh, they get pretty mad at you. Fuck! So fucking fresh. You need to be slapped fucking silly with a mouth like that. <laughs> and if you got a problem with it, then I suggest you go and rap it, dude. Okay, I will. Just let me sneak up on this bottle of Fago and snap its neck like a fucking lasakin. Oh, okay. Are those beats still chill? Yeah. Are they motherfucking strict? Yeah. I crack his motherfucking kick it. Down, down, down. 
Oh my god, I love this. I love this slam poetry session. I'm just imagining like some beast, like Beastie Boys, uh, la laughs, laugh assassin, laugh assassin. Oh, okay. The noise I just made sounded like the beginning of Toxic. Yo, I, my mouth has many talents, beekeeper. You were getting a drink. Yo, yo, Zach, I'm just glad that you're here. I, I'm sorry I didn't say hi to you earlier. Welcome to the stream where we are learning many of the trolls. Laugh assassin. That sounds terrifying. Actually, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. Laugh assassin reminds me of the troll with the chainsaw. <laughs> that's like that. That that's how what I imagine when I imagine a laugh assassin. <laughs> You then proceed to have one of the worst rap offs in the history of Paradox Space. Yo! Yo, yo. You make your way through the burning woods to meet the Lucis you never had. It's time for her to hatch. It's now or never. Whoa! Okay. Is that a time capsule? Like, one of the time. Oh, Doomsday Scale. Since the world is about to end anyway, you suppose it no longer matters if the Doomsday Scale is tipped. The counterweight is the skull of the of an ancient mother grub slain thousands of solar sweeps ago. The egg contains a rare species of dragon which remains blind until maturity, using its other senses to survive. It has balanced the skull here for millennia, waiting for the warmth of a meteor sparked forest to fire before hatching. In case it wasn't clear, dragons are real. That does look sick. Who? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> dragon time. While she slept in her egg, she would communicate with you in your sleep. After your accident, she would use your dreams to teach you to detect the world around you without vision. Oh! Okay! So Terezi owns her blind, owes her blind sight to this dragon. That's so cute! That's so cool! It's like Toph! Yeah, it's like Toph! Absolutely! Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, sorry. I, I, I'm sorry if that was really loud. This is important. This is important. Oh god, I'm running out of notes. I should have made separate, like an entire page of notes for the trolls, but I was going off my old notes for the trolls. Um, 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 um. Okay, so this is some. Tr I'm gonna have to copy them over to like a troll section of my notes dedicated. So I'm gonna have Terezi, Prospit, and I will have to do this off stream because I'm not going to. Uh, to, to make you guys sit through here the entire time. Cancer CG. But here we go. Terezi's relationship with her Lucis is so heartwarming. Absolutely. Absolutely. There, I got a pretty good look at you. Ooh, yeah, you're right. That makes sense. It all makes sense now. Oh my gosh, that makes total sense. Top Resi, I like it. Oh, that, oh, nice foreshadowing. Okay, cool, cool. As you learned, your dreams became more vivid. Where before there was darkness, odors and flavors painted a striking picture. You found yourself surrounded by bright honey walls and in the sky was a huge tasty ball of cotton candy, which is the sweet troll delicacy we wouldn't know anything about. The first time you caught a glimpse of this world it was in your dreams. There was no turning back. The young Lucis would take to the sky and promptly get herself killed. This would be much more shocking and a little, maybe a little bit more sad if we didn't already know what was going to happen. We already knew this, but of course you didn't. Who is the we? Or is this speaking to the trolls? Is this the idea? Is, it, is this like recounting the story to the trolls? That's interesting. We already knew this, but of course you didn't. Interesting. We as the readers? Oh, I guess Candy, I, I'm reading up through it. I think I, I must be misremembering something then from earlier on, because I thought there was something in a conversation with Jade, but maybe I'm misremembering something. You are now blank is pretty common. Yeah, so I think that... You as the troll and we as the fans. No, it's okay. You can be confused. I think I was. I think I was misremembering something. I thought I remembered a conversation with Jade that was saying something else. Um, so that's my bad. I was freaking out because I thought Chat was trying to tell me something. Um, and I think I freaked. And I. I think I like filled in holes in my memory with the incorrect details. So. But yeah, that's Avatar: The Last Airbender. Thanks, Bumps. 
it's one of those things where there's so many details that when uh, when a quote from another medium gets brought up, immediately I think it's from Homestuck, and I'm like, and I'm like, yeah, no, that totally happened. <clears throat> Let's see. Unsurprising development. Genuine distress. Even as a newborn at Homestuck, dragons are dragons. No, but you knew this would happen, Rain. The dragon never smelled it coming. She would fall to her to your tree hive. On your return, she would be scooped up by a sympathetic ally and deposited into the kernel sprite. Then you and she could talk. There would be plenty to discuss. Big F for the dragon. The dune state device would display the amount of time you had to get back to your hive and enter the medium before the forest was destroyed. 612. Um, at the time, it wouldn't occur to you to wonder whether the device was directly responsible for the apocalypse or merely served as its precisely calibrated harbinger. And it certainly wouldn't occur to you to cast any doubt on perceived differences between those things. It wouldn't be until later, when you better understood the game you were about to play. Be the other girl. Yo, AA hype! Can I get some AA hype in chat? Ooh, I love every time we get to see her. You are now the other girl. Render the girl in a more symbolic manner. What? No. No. I love this. I love the way that this is. I love this. No. Okay, we're going, we're going down here. That's fine. Here we go. That's better. We can now be properly introduced. Who is this spooky lady? Okay. Okay. We have a name. We have a name. A.A. Oh gosh, so many things, so many things, so many things. I will write it over here in my new troll notes section. Her name is Aradia Megiddo. Oh god, Megiddo. And this is dupe, dupe, dupe. A uh, Aries and AA. I have to make all these notes or I will forget. Is her sur sur surname a spell? I kind of feel like a Mary in like different mediums. Uh, Aradia? Aradia. Aradia Megiddo. Oh my goodness. She has been officially homestucked. Yeah, Arbolg. I like Aradia. You once had a number of interests in which time you have lost interest in. You seem to recollect Helen's having a fondness for archaeology, though you now have trouble recalling this passion. It nonetheless has led you to find your present calling, which came through the discovery of these mystic ruins on which you presently stand, you presently stand, which you recently desecrated out of boredom. Guiding you to this calling were the voices of the dead, which you've been able to hear since you were young. These, the voices, which have become louder as the great undoing approaches, uh, these voices have become louder since then. This trend in escalation began after an accident involving a certain kind of role-playing. Interesting. So the man, the accident has affected so many of the trolls. You would die for Aradia. Megiddo is also something related to the Book of Revelations and the end of the world stuff. Okay, gotcha. Best spooky girl. It might have been another one of your interests once upon a time. It doesn't matter much now. The accident resulted in the death of your Lucis, which prompted you to leave your home and take up these ruins as residence. On the instruction of your ancestors, you have recovered mysterious technology from the ruins and convinced a friend to adapt it into a game that will bring about the destruction of your civilization. And by convinced, you suppose you mean tricked. He has tentatively named the grub Escrub, the game Escrub. Yeah, instead of Suburb, Escrub, instead of Suburb. Which is a word that is not terribly elegant. If it were marketed by a legitimate game company instead of rapidly patched together by a young hacker, it would have been ostensibly given a better title. He is presently mobilizing 12 friends to play it, including him, him and yourself. He believes he will lead the blue team, but he is wrong. Your troll tag is Apocalypse Arisen, and there is typically a pronounced hollowness to your words. What will you do? Who? Who? Her surname is from Tel Megiddo, the city where the end of the world is supposedly going to take place. That same plane is also where the word Armageddon comes from. So she's just like literally an apocalypse box. Her entire character and design is just apocalypse junction. Sol Solix and Aradia apocalypse buddies. Aradia has the apocalypse in her username. Sol has a Solix has Armageddon. And I think the, the idea there, I mean, it makes sense because they literally brought on the apocalypse for the end of their civilization. That is awesome. And you could you you could abbreviate her name as Armageddon, which sounds like Armageddon. That's actually really cool. Won't the end of the world be for the whole world? I mean, sure, sure. 
We'll see. What will you do? Aradia, retrieve the computer. Hey, she uses the uh, the Ouija fetch modus, which interestingly Jade also had as a thing. It's not up to you to decide what you retrieve from your Celadex. It's up to the spirits. That's interesting. Looks like the spirits are being cooperative today, if a bit cryptic as usual. Who's this douchebag? <laughs> Sometimes I forget that we're supposed to have jokes in this game. Or this game, this comic. I wonder what the, the Ouija modus would be. Thalia pages been, absolutely, so long ago. Yo, Cole, hey, we are uh, we are hanging out with uh, Aradia. We, fi we finally found AA's name. You found this baffling artifact some time ago in one of your digs. This creature on the, its facade is completely mystifying. You have taken to using it as your primary computing device on account of... Why is she so serious but has such a ridiculous... Why Crosby Top? Oh my god. The Luigi board? <laughs> yeah! I, man, I kind of want like a Luigi's Mansion now that's based around like Ouija boards. Um, let's see, let's see. Aradia is the name of a book which is believed to be a genuine religious text used by pagan witches. Full title, Aradia, or the Gospel of the Witches. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, look who's bothering you again. She's always bugging you. Bugging and fussing and meddling. What's her deal? You guess it's flattering that she wants to talk to you so much, though. You're okay with it. You're okay with a lot of things. So we need to humor G.A., I mean, I can humor GA. That's fine. That's fine. That is, uh, that is Virgo. Yeah. Let's see. Hi again, Aradia. Oh, no. So I guess tonight is the night of you blow everything up. <sighs> is there nothing I can do to change your mind? No. Or yes. Yes, there's nothing. And no, you can't. But you shouldn't pretend as if you believe this has anything to do with the state of my mind. Or the decisions it will make, or has already been made. Yeah, I guess not. I thought I'd be friendly, though. I remind you that you do, in fact, have a hand in all the terrible things that are about to happen. Because that's what friends are for. And the fact that what ensues will be terrible is an immutable fact I am stating for the record. An immutable fact I am stating for the record! Oh my god, I love GA. And the fact that we will not be on the same team is similarly immutable. It does not mean that teamwork is, is, what isn't, is, is what isn't taking place here. Sorry, I didn't follow that. I'll be here to help if you need me. Okay, thanks. Trollian. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Waiting for the apocalypse is so boring. You guys will check on Solix to see how he's coming along with those teams. This is when we had that conversation and yeah, the conversation, I'm coming up, and then you went up. Go up. Oh, so is this a Lucis that has been... Did she imprison? No, her Lucis died. They even said it in the accent, her Lucis died. So, hmm. Where are all the trolls say chaotic? This makes Rose and Dave seem chill. That's very fair. That's very fair. Oh, yeah, this is Solix's. Interesting. So, like, the way that it looked from, like, really far away, I thought it was different. But this, but yeah, that makes sense. You can even see the gate there. Trolls make Durst players seem chill. Imagine Durst trolls. Huh. Well, Waluigi modus, yes, please. I want a Waluigi modus. They'd just be like different tones of wah the entire time. Hello. Hmm, you wonder what she wants. What's with all these girls bugging you? Bugging and fussing and meddling. Get bugged by AG. Well, hello. Aradia! Oh boy, that's way too many of the same litter in a row twice. I know, so we're about to get started, right? Have you tricked Solix yet? Do you have Mr. Two Eyes all befuddled and flustered in your web of lies? Or Mr. Four Eyes? Hmm. I don't know. What name do you think would be suitably derogatory in this case, Aradia? How about Eight Eyes? Minus seven. I didn't trick him. It's not like that. Okay, whatever the point is. Once you have pulled the finely woven silken mesh over his dumb, different colored eyes, you and I will start playing the game and be the blue team leaders. That's how this will work, right? Wait, do you mind if we're co-leaders? I forgot to ask. I just assumed it was okay with you. I don't care. Great, that's the spirit. And when I bring you into the game, whatever the hell that means, then we can send each other stuff, right? That's how this works, right? Yes. Awesome, because I have a present for you. It's a surprise, and it's going to be great. From me to you, just from me, from me alone, and nobody else. I can't wait to see the look on your face when you see. 
Okay, well, I'm sure it will be very thoughtful. Hey, speaking of which, what will be the name of our what will the te- name of our team be? Uh, the blue team? No, 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 no! I know that. I mean the te- name of our team. You and me, just us. I haven't given it any thought. Nor did I think such a thing was up for consideration. But if you want to pretend we both have a separate team together and name that team, then knock yourself out. I just thought it would be really fitting. Kind of a fresh start, you know? I don't know. What are our shared interests? I guess I haven't really thought about this. I guess I'm used to thinking of you as the enemy. There must be some overlap in profiles. Come on, let's brainstorm. Man, it'll be great. We'll be unstoppable. Surely you must admit it'll be nice to rebound from the team charge debacle. I never think about that anymore. Oh, man, I'm so dumb. Here I am, running my mouth, opening up a wounds while at the very same time trying to make amends. What an idiot. Let's see. It's okay. Hey, speaking of which, that loser isn't going to be on the blue team, is he? Which loser? Your old team buddy? No. Oh, thank fucking goodness. Talk about Deadway. He made the right choice, leader. I mean, co-leader. I didn't exclude him for that reason. Or at all. You're just not getting it. You never listen. Oh, man, now I've got this huge beef grub lodged in my nook just thinking about him. I'm going to go give him a hard time. Let me know when you're live. See you later. Don't do that. It's really childish. Oh, wow. <laughs> I got to catch up on chat. That was, I, I could not take a break there. That was too interesting to me. You love this conversation? It's actually interesting. Um, AG a- a- G is very interesting. Um, I'm getting some weird manipulative vibes, but it's, it, but I, I want to, I want to know more. You like all the trolls in different ways? Absolutely. Absolutely. You love ten and a half trolls? <laughs> the, the, the interesting breakdown. We're about to be AG grown. Hell yeah, AG. <laughs> Yo, so many mixed feelings in chat. Be the mysterious spider girl. <laughs> Let's see. You try to be the mysterious spider girl and fail. She's way too mysterious for you to be her. Seriously, what's up with those glasses? What's up with the robo arm? What's her deal? She guesses it's it's flattering that you want to be her, though. She guesses she doesn't mind. It's cool. We'll learn all about her a little bit later. Get back to Aradia. Let's see. Oh, that was it. That was it. That was all of AG. That was all of AG. Let's see. One of Tavros's pages talked about a cruel villain with a missing arm and a missing eye. Oh, okay, Kenny. I mean, given the way that she treated Tavros, I'm not entirely surprised that he would view her as a villain. <laughs> and I don't necessarily blame him. Interesting. Interesting is the best term to describe AG. Her. Huh. Huh. Her. Uh, I, I was like rolling my tongue there. Aradia, I like to apologize if I flew off the handle there. It was like the handle was the ball guy going really fast, and it was his to, it, and it was his toupee. And I'm sorry, and it was my fault. It's okay. I hope we're still friends. Yes, we are. Anyway, she's just casually levitating with her laptop. I love her so much. So Alex has a Spanish accent. No. Arr. Um. <laughs> So anyway, I think that if I quit being leader, I'm going to still play the game now. Because it's either that or get totally creamed by all these fucking space boulders. Hey, maybe we can make the best of the game anyway. I mean, even though I guess we're going to lose. No, I'm sorry. You can't, Solix. Not yet. Oh my god! Are you going to give me this shit again after I crawl on my belly all like that groveling to you? Like some low-class guy with whatever colored blood is lower on the hierarchy than mine. Okay, so, so the trolls do have different colored blood. Which probably makes sense from them smushing up the gen- genetic material. And I've been thinking that for uh, before, but this is interesting. And there, wait, not only that, but there's a hierarchy of blood. Wait, 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 blood hierarchy. There is a hierarchy to blood. Let's see, let's see. Yo, you clipped that, right? I'm glad. Thank you. Um, what's worse than yellow? Fuck this, I'm confusing, I'm confu- uh, I, I'm confusing, uh, cast system. Fuck this confusing cast system. Anyway, screw you, I'm playing this game right now. No, you're not. Trust me. Wait, what is this? Are you hearing some spooky message from the grave? Is it about my ability to give two sh- uh, to give a shit, which just did, which just died? This is where you laugh again. Come to the window. Why? Or why? 
Because I'm outside. BS. Take a look. I don't see anything there. Come closer, you'll see me. I promise. God. I am just going to bulge deep into fecal matter of a wildly incontinent hoofbeat, but alright, I'll indulge you. Here I go. Yeah, it's a cast-based system, and Solux is near the lower end of it. Yeah, I'm wondering how many of the trolls are, like, kind of, like, in the lower, like, lower bits. Let's see. Let's see. Look out the window. Okay, looking out the stupid, get lousy goddamn window. Lousy, stupid, goddamn psychics. Oh, snap. Nap time. She snapped him! She can snap the snapping her. When he snaps, she snaps the snap. Similar powers. Or at least, perhaps, I don't know, goddamn psychic, snap, psychics. To snap, or yeah, snap. Much later. Wait, 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 actually real quick. Snap, okay. I thought, I thought there was going to be a two on it and that would have some implications. Oh, snap. Does Sol the rumor come out? Does Solix captor is B? <laughs> Does Bruno Mars is gay? <laughs> Imagine being able to snap. Yo, yo, beekeeper, I got something for you. Oh fuck! I hit the mic super hard. Sorry. Ow! 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 ow, ow. I actually kind of hurt my finger there. <laughs> yes, Solix is B. I am not. You weren't able to snap until you were like thirteen. I mean, there's some people that never learn how to snap, and that's okay. Yo, hydrate, fine. Are you not entertained, Kenny? When you would finally wake up, you'd discover all of your teammates had connected to each other and entered the medium. You would be the last to enter. Your long nap would facilitate a series of important dreams that would prove essential in support of your teammates. But here and now, the destruction of your hive would be imminent unless you could quickly establish a connection to the first player of the group and complete the chain. Stop flaunting my superiority. It's not superiority. Everybody has different things they can do. I, so, interesting thing, Blue Glass. I can whistle, but I can only whistle if I'm breathing in. I can't really do it very well. Well, I, can, I might be able to... I, okay. But I, 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 would na I naturally breathe in to whistle. The snapping sound isn't your fingers rubbing together. It's the sound of your finger hitting the palm of your hand. Oh, that makes sense, actually. Yeah, because if you try to, like, avoid it, it doesn't work. It's... Well, my life has changed forever, Canny. I'm completely bothered now. Tough guy finger snapping, or, or like musical finger snapping, like... Like, as you walk down the street. Wake up. The mind, honey. Oh, oh, some of it got in your mouth. You do not, under any circumstances, eat the mind, honey. Let's go. I need some Dragon Ball transformation music, like... <laughs> Like right now. Troll etymology, name etymology, facts and things make you uncomfortable. Uh, make, make you think about uncomfortable topics. The mine honey, let's go, mine honey hype. Whoo! Okay, that's a headache waiting to happen. Holy mother of psychosis. Or psychics, or psionics, all of them maybe? Ah, lasers. Oh, that's not good. Okay, can we not? Oh, okay. Well, that's a. Uh, okay. Since the moody kid is busy flipping his bifurcated lid, we might as well take a moment to get to know this silly cat girl. Gosh, who could she be? Let's see. Your name is Nepeta Lejeune. Okay, so... Oh, wait, really, Nep? Wait, wait. Nep, Nep? Nep, Nep. Oh, my God. What was... Okay, so we know who she is, if I could find it. Did I write down cat noises as part of the thing? Well, I can tell from her shirt. Um, She is... Something. What name? What, 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 what name was she? She was... Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. Leo AC. Thank you. For some reason, I did not write that properly in my notes. Leo? AC. Arsenic catnip. That makes sense. Nepeta is a scientific genus of catnip. Oh, interesting. Nya. I will try to minimize my nias. Let's go. Oh, and it's, that's also nice that she's a Leo. That's a, that's a nice touch. 
You live in a cave. That is also a hive, but it's still mostly just a cave. You like to engage in friendly role-playing, but not the dangerous kind. Never the dangerous kind. It's too dangerous. Too many of your good friends have gotten hurt that way. Your daily routine is dangerous enough as it is. You prowl the wilderness of great beasts and stalk them and take them down with nothing but your sharp claws and teeth. You take them back to your cave and eat them, and from time to time, wear their pelts for fun. You like to paint, paint wall comics using blood and soot and ash depicting your exciting tales from the hunt. And, and other goofy stories about you and your numerous pals. Your best pal of all is a little bossy, and people wonder why you even bother with them. But someone has to keep him pacified. If not you, then who? Everyone has an important job to do. Look at the cute little Lucis. Oh, I love the little Lucis. Arsenic is used to make green paint and used for rat poison. And also the atomic number for arsenic is 33, which is... Oh, that's a, a lot of details put into that, huh? Green is the most metal color, prove me wrong. I mean, if the metal's copper. Um, let's see. Your troll tag is arsenic catnip. Your speech proceeds itself with the face of your Lucis, who is possibly the cutest and perhaps the best kitty, best kitty you've ever seen. What will you do? Meow. Meow. That's a lot of detail in the naming and, like, how how she talks and everything, with J. John being a variant of the Swedish and fin Finnish word for lion. There's so much. There's so much. Oh my god, so many details in this comic. Wolverine girl. Yeah. You're always wearing your claw gloves. You never know when you might encounter some unsuspecting prey. Or when some prey might encounter an unsuspecting you. On Alternia, everything is considered unsuspecting prey by everything else. Wolverine. I love it so much. Oh, scritch, scritch, purr, purr. She sure enjoys a good scratch. Pounce de Leon. <laughs> Pounce de Leon. I love it so much. The pun is so good. It's the best kitty cat. You and she go on adventures together in search of the Fountain of Cute. You ri That's also a really good reference. You ride your Sherpod Mountain to the rugged frontier, and sometimes she rides you until she gets tired, which is frequently. It, will be, it sure will be sad when she dies, but who knows when or how that will happen. We might not even have time to find out. Yo, Cat Mom, pounce daily on searching for the Fountain of Cute. I love it so much. She's basically just a palico from Monster Hunter. <laughs> Later, there was a cave-in. Fuck me, Cat Mom is dead. Well, can I get an F in chat for Cat Mom? <sighs> Sad days. Examine the computer. Cat Mom's alive again! You saunter over to your drawing tablet computer. You use this to draw on a computer. It would be really cool if this could somehow be adapted to serve as a fetch modus as well. That would be so much more fun than frustrating than the frustrating one you're using now. You know what this grumpy fellow wants? Probably something to do with that game. That seems to be any all anybody's ever talking about. Yo, car cat hype! Let's go! Oh, this is such a cute picture. Oh, look at the art. It's so cute. Drawing tablet computer. Hey! <laughs> AC perks up curiously. She wriggles her rear end a bit and then chases something as she bounces into one of Carcat's shoes. Carcat can't believe he has to sink this low. Carcat can't believe he's asking an autistic girl in a cave to join his team. Carcat mystifies an in infinite befuddlement over the fact that you are presently the best remaining candidate for the red team. I am? I mean, AC says I am? Wondrously. Yes, and Carcat can't fucking believe that. Ableism. I mean, yeah, very much ableism. Like, Carcat loses some major points there. Like, jeez. Carcat thinks about that a bit, and his jaw drops open and breaks a huge column of bricks like a fucking kung fu master. AC gathers up all the brick pieces and builds a cute little house and invites Carcat inside. Okay, good. It's good that we're talking about building. Even if it's the most inane possible context, you're going to be doing a lot of it. Yes, that sounds fun. Okay, what do I do? Okay, briefing. Me? Terezi, Gamzi, uh, Gamzi, and Tavros are all playing now. The connection order is ATTCGCCG. We need someone to connect to the to Torador and get him in the game. I have GA lined up for the red team because she is one of the few remaining sane ones left to play. And, okay, the only sane one. But she doesn't want to connect yet because of some mysterious bullshit. Like, I, like, whatever. So what else is new? So that leaves you. Terezi said she had you lined up to play back when she was the fake leader. So I said, fine. So just connect to Tavros and later, and we'll be good. And later we'll worry about getting you in. All right, I'll talk with him about it. Oh, AC pauses and looks at a li with a little bit of chagrin. I forgot I had to talk to someone else about this. I've been procrastinating. Oh, God, are you really serious? It's not that big of a deal. This boggles my mind. How can you be best friends with the only guy on the planet who's a bigger asshole than me? He's not so bad. He's scum! But
But do whatever you gotta do, I guess. Tavros is waiting. You said that Karkat was your favorite, but he's not always the best person. That's fair. A lot of the trolls uh, very much have... Um, are very much lean on the end of not being the best people. Like, a lot of ableism from a lot of different people. No one is always the best person? That's very true. That's very true. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's Sagittarius, right? Uh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let me make a note here for, for Sagittarius. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. And then, yeah, it was CT. Let's go. Fun fact about uh, Solix. Polix is the red giant star, while Caster is the star with blue and white. There are also characters named Polix and Caster in Face Off, starring Nick Cage. Yeah, Rain had mentioned that. Um, Rain had mentioned the, the relation, like how it's an anagram for Polix and Caster. But, that's, but the thing about Face Off with Nick Cage is very interesting, because that was not a reference I was expecting. Um, I think we, don't we have things named after them as well? Like, celestial bodies? Don't we have stars named after them? Yeah, they're the Gemini twins in, in mythology. Uh, Greek, I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, continuing on. AC twitches, uh, her friendly whiskers at CT. Uh, Hi. CD perplexes over where he put that important wrench that he needed for building a fancy robot or something. He says, now where did she, did that silly wrench go? 100k. What? Look. Oh, look. Not 100k. It's look. We have the speech. We have the speaky bits. What are you expecting to accomplish with this? Oh, but look, CT peeks out from around the corner to find a very playful kid and has stolen the robot wrench and is now kicking it vigorously with her hind legs. This is foolishness upon 100,000 prior, equally unsolicited foolishness. You'll stop now. Rar, you're so lame. I'm not. I'm fine. No, lame. No, I'm not. Lame. No. You never ever played a fun pretend game with me even once. Even Karkat does it sometimes, even if he does it mean in a grumpy and insincere way. CD replaces every instance of, of Lul with 100 and Ul with, yeah, okay. Yeah, very strange. Very weird boy. 100k. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see. Yuck. Don't pollute my incoming data stream with his name or any other excre uh, excremental language you pick up from his ilk. I see right through your stupid act. Who are you trying to kid? Look how you go out of your way to use words that have X's in them so that you can use your silly percent signs. Or use these absurd words that you can shoehorn a, a, 100 in, a 100 into, even if it's not strictly replacing a uh, Lou. You are so transparent. I can tell you like to play games. Deep down, you're a guy who likes to play games. I can smell a guy who likes to play games from so far away with his nose. You have no idea. Whoa. Okay. 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 So, ne Nep, Nep, Nep over here has committed the cardinal sin of calling out one of the trolls for their conventions. For one of their typing conventions. Transparent. And completely calling him out. Like, yo. That is a. I feel like there. The, the, I feel like that's a cultural norm that has been broken. Like it makes me a little uncomfortable. It kind of gives me a deep respect for ne uh, Nepeta. Or Nepeta. Uh, let's see. If you're looking for a loophole through which to, you may accept concessions from me. You'll have to look elsewhere. Ugh, what the hell? See what the hell, Nepeta? What did I say about that awful language? I won't stand for it, and you'll stop. Oops, sorry. Wait, you 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 don't get to tell Nep how to speak. Oh, fucking hell. Your fraternization with the base classes have have loosened your morals. You Can't you see this? Interesting. So, does this imply that CT is higher on the, on the, on the, um, higher on the hierarchy? And he's kind of an asshole. A huge asshole. Fun fact about Trezzy. Trezzy is Libra in Albanian, Turkish, and Ukrainian. In addition, pyrope derives from Greek words fire and eyes. Pyrope is also a type of red garnet. Also, pyrope, pyrope is an undertale. But no, those are actually, um, that's actually a lot of really interesting naming details. So much thought and effort went into naming all these characters. I love it. And Kami, you are a wellspring of information about it. You pronounce it Nepeta? Okay, cool, cool. I kind of like Nepeta. It implies that Nepeta is above the baser classes, too. That's fair. That's a good... That's actually a very good touch. 
a very good thing to point out. Let's see. Um, let's see, let's see. No, I don't care. They're fun. And I don't know anything about classes or bases or blood color. It doesn't matter. What does green blood even mean? It doesn't mean anything to me, and it shouldn't mean anything to anybody else. And Nepeta is a green blood. Okay. Well, green blood is okay, but it's not great. And that's why you're lucky to have me to look out for you. Because you don't know better. And you can't fight that role that mother, the mother had in store for you. Oh, you're such a hypocrite. You pretend to be so high and mighty, but I know you're not, and I know you like games. Like, look at that silly little bow and arrow you always type. It's always there. You never forget. Why would you do that if it wasn't a playful, fun thing? I am so on for you. My bow and arrow are highly dignified symbols. Lol, BS. Archery is among the highest and most exceptional crafts held in tremendous regard by the most aloof classes for centuries. You suck at archery. No. Yes. No. Yes. No, I don't. Yes, 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 yes. Have you ever successfully fired an arrow? Like, actually got one to leave the bow? I think we need to stop talking about archery. Yo, CT! Yo, see, I like how she calls him out so much. Oh, blue, blue glasses reducing the number of likes trolls. Oh, no. Oh, no. You, Brissick, you love CT. People don't understand him. See, okay, so there are some mixed feelings about CT here. No, -uh. yes, no. We will stop talking about our tree. This topic is making me sweat. Ew, you're so gross. No, you're the one who exercises distasteful practices. No, that's you. Everyone knows you're a weirdo and a creep. That's why you're lucky to have me to keep an eye on you. No one else can stand you. You exterminate beautiful, innocent creatures by the hundreds. I can't condone such wretched behavior. Beasts are meant to be one, uh, looked upon with adoration. But I eat them. I don't kill anything I don't eat. That would be mean. I guess that's a basically acceptable in principle, but I still find it a bit unsavory. Well, I think your habits are unsavory. No, they're not. Yeah, uh-huh. You're wrong about me, Nepeta. I do like to play games, but they must be extremely important games with very high stakes. Not the kind played by uh, translucent green wrigglers who let loose an experimental surge so hard in their wriggle bottom diaper studs. And as it happens, I have arranged to play such a game tonight. Aradia and I have a private engagement to be the leaders of the blue, uh, of the blue team. Oh! Aradia is like... So, okay, I wonder if Aradia is doing this on purpose, though there is a level of, like, intention with everything Aradia does because of the voices. Or if everyone just is like, Aradia, can I be blue leader? And Aradia's like, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know? Fun fact about Gamzee. Gamzee sounds like Gamzee, which is a goat and antelope. Oh, okay. Interesting. Car has some roots to the Masakara Festival from the Philippines. Where does Hussy get all this information and, like, build it in? Oh, my goodness. There are moments where you like uh, CT Blue Glass, but for the most part, he's just, eh. Like, let's see. I want to see how this goes. But I'm curious about how Arati is interacting with all of the, the, um, the various, um, like, blue team members. Oh, the fans named them. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually, that's really cool. That's really, really cool, even. Okay. I'm so down with that. Oh, yeah? Well, just by per chance, it happens that AC has a private and sneaky engagement to play this game as well. And by a per snickety twist of fate, she will also be on the red team with her other great friends who likes to play their childish diaper poop games. Hmm. Absolutely not. Absolutely. I forbid this. You will take your position on the blue team with me. Yeah, right. I'll take my pres uh, my position in this into this funny pounce ball and tackle you. That's nonsense. You're nowhere even remotely within proximity to, that would be necessary to execute such a maneuver. AC rolls her eyes almost as hard as she is rolling around in this really interesting smell. The thought of you fraternizing with and abetting those stink-blooded hooligans strikes me as a scandal beyond measure. I'm afraid you're too delicate to withstand that sort of corruption. It's forbidden. Nuh-uh! Yes, you won't. No, I will. You won't. You can't stop me. I am telling you not to, and you will be on my team. That's final. Blah. Quiet. And what and why you and why do you do this? Why are you so confident about your stupid commands? Do you know you can't actually tell me what to do? It's not like you even have any special mind powers or tele tele telepathy or anything. No, I do not. And yet you will do as I say. Yes, we'll see about that. Yes, we will. You will join me and my team shortly. Stand by for further instruction. Sss. You're angry and I appreciate that, but it doesn't matter. Discussion over. Aww. Poor Nep. Poor Nep. Aw, that's so brutal and like such a disregard for like Nep's autonomy. 
This is the only... Oh, their names were the only direct form of suggestion the readers had at this point? Interesting, though. The names were already based on what we knew about them in the first place, Zodiac signs. That's fair. So, like, I guess I guess it's, like, one of those things you ask for suggestions, it's already narrowed by, like, previous story details, and then you just narrow it further after getting, like, suggestions that you like. Poor kitty girl. Poor Nep. Give Tavros the bad news. Nep, no! AC curls up in Tavros's lap. Okay, I, for the time being, and for the sake of this fantasy scenario, pretend that my cat allergies aren't that bad. Yo, Tavros is a sweet boy. AC takes a long nap, and then wakes up and frowns because she has bad news. Oh no, is what I say about the bad news, not the nap. Tavros, I'm sorry, I can't be on your team. It's, I'm not allowed. Oh, that's okay. Then I guess you said no then. Yes, unfortunately. Oh, I'm so mad. That's probably for the best that you listen to him. I don't know. You think so? Well, if you didn't listen to him before, you might have played games with us before. And something bad might have happened to you. Hmm, perhaps. But I still feel bad. I'll find another player. It's not a big deal. Good luck being on the blue team. Okay, thanks. You fondly recall your days of far more intensive role-playing. It seems like so long ago. Aside from a few unfortunate moments, it was a lot of fun. If you had the time, to, if you had to do it all over again, you suppose you would select better company. Maybe this game you are playing tonight will rekindle some of that excitement. Oh, Tavros is such a sweet boy. Tavros just wants to have fun with friends. Most of the troll culture was improvised, which is really neat. But it, but it means that if you read up on some of the Act Four stuff with Act Five as reference, some stuff doesn't quite line up. Oh, interesting. Interesting. And yeah, Hussey does does seem to like improvising a lot, Mary. I mean, the entire premise of the beginning of the comic. Uh, I really appreciate you not saying spoilers for a sec. I, I, like, I, I will say, I've said it once, I've said, I'll say it again. I really appreciate it when you guys, like, avoid doing spoilers. So thank you so much. Let's see. Tinkerbull? Oh, no, Tinkerbull. Flashback. Oh, my goodness. Yo, Tavros, look at that outfit. I dig it. Let's see. Writing as you go can go can lead to some discrepancies. Absolutely. What is this? Well, this what was this uh was this one up before? In interesting. Maybe I missed it. You stand in your room on a healthy pair of legs and in a plucky little outfit. You are a low-level boy skylark, and you wield an, an inexpensive dagger lance, which is the closest thing to a jousting lance you can wield it that is still compatible with your favorite class. You're about to play a, a popular game called Flarp, which is oh okay, so that's what the poster is. Which, unlike most games published by major developers, was given a graceful and aesthetically pleasing name. It's a title under the extreme role-playing game, or genre. And playing it without caution can have serious real-world consequences, but that's what makes it fun. When you activate Flarp's Grub, the campaign pr program for tonight will begin. Team Charge will battle Team Scourge as usual. This is going to be great. And I, Team Charge was mentioned before. Yo, cute little boy spar uh, Skylark, Pupa Pan. Let's go! Contact fellow Team Charge member. Oh, okay, wait, let's see. Is this before Aradia lost all emotion? Aradia, my grub is laying now, so I'll be ready soon. Cool, mine too. Oh, fuck life is role-playing. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, fuck life is role-playing. That's what you're saying. It's her, it's Aradia, yeah. I don't know where Terezi is, though. She's running late. Oh, uh, should we wait? No, I'll be here clouding her campaign for her regardless. With or without her, her loss if she doesn't make it. It'll give you the chance to gain some ground. Okay, you picked a, a tough class, Tavros. None of these really useful combat abilities come into play until you reach a very high level, but I suppose it'll be really rewarding when you get there. Yeah, I think you're right, but it's the class that I think is the most fun, and battle skill is not all there. And battle skill is not all there is to being a great adventurer. I couldn't agree more. You might be the only flarper in the world who really understands the true spirit of the game. Everyone else is so aggressive and treasure hungry, but that's what makes beating them all the more satisfying. Yeah, I guess. Remember, your clouder isn't gonna pull any punches tonight. Don't fall for her mind games. I'll be here to assist, of course. If you're in trouble, don't hesitate to ask for help. Yeah, I won't. Thanks, Aradia. No problem. Hatch the campaign. Yo, happy Aradia is so good. I love her so much. I'm so sad that Aradia is just like robot now. Oh, it makes me feel so bad for the present. <laughs> she was genuinely helpful and expressive, and she liked role playing games. Ugh. Your campaign's gaming flap uh, tractions hatch out of their eggs. These compromise all the data and procedures you'll need for tonight's adventure. 
They disperse throughout the, ter throughout the terrain surrounding your hive. They follow both the pre-programmed and live instructions by your clouder, a team member of uh, teams a member of Team Scourge whose role is to provide you with a challenging scenario while your teammate does the same for Scourge's other player. So it's like, it's, it, it's like, it's like versus D&D. &D. The incident ruined everything. A righty of good hussy words. Go outside and begin the adventure. You take your starting position in the field. The game is afoot, and anything can happen now. It's up to you to consult your maps and work with your teammates to discover the objectives of the quest, find treasure, and slay monsters. Your stat bat has bonded with you. This keeps track of every attribute for your character, including vitals. While these attributes, in principle, remain abstractions due to the fact that this is an extreme role-playing game, they will always relate to, in some way, to your real-life attributes as well. You've got to be careful out there. A little later. Oh boy, AG, let's go. You are currently fighting a bunch of monsters that look like, I guess there are other Lucises? Lucy? Lucimis? Well, uh, hey, boy Skylark, are you just gonna stand there all night? Make your move, make your move, make your move. I just think these monsters are too strong. Sorry, but they don't seem appropriate for this campaign. Weak, weaky, weaky, weak. Oh, uh, weaky, is that a real thing to say? Yes, your, your uh, blatant excuse making the, Excuse making is the weakest lame that ever shit the, the coward bed. Roll your dice, make your move, advance or abscond. I, I can't abscond. There's no uh, absconding place. Yeah, but absconding is what you do best. And I, and, and I won't manage. I, I hate it. I hate this syllable swallowing. I hate the syllable swallowing. Um, and I haven't managed to cloud a scenario yet where you couldn't squawk out of squawk out of it in a blazing trail of cluckest cluck cluck beast feathers. You ain't, and I ain't managed. Oh, okay. Gotcha, yeah, ain't. Okay. That makes sense. You cannot hope to beat you cannot hope to beat Tavros You cannot hope to eight Oh god, I hate this so much. I what AG stick to one thing. Stick to one thing. Don't just don't do eight A for one thing and then make it a B for the other. Bad, bad. Yeah, no, I, yeah, it me. You gotta hope to be Tavros Nitram in a, a scond off. He is simply the best there is. Oh, uh, that sounds flattering theoretically, but I don't think. Hey, pipe down. Make your move. Advance or abscond. Advance or abscond. Roll Tavros. Roll. Okay, okay. Hold on for a moment. Ah. Uh. Oh, interesting. The glasses have something on them. Uh, Aradia, hey, uh, are you there? Um, hmm. Hey, Terezi, I have a problem. Uh, no one can help you, Tavros. Okay, time to decide. Where is everybody? What does that have to do with your present cowardice? I don't know, probably nothing. Are you going to roll? Hmm. It's her, she. <laughs> Yo, she's there in the flesh. Uh, no, I can't. Why not? Because I was thinking about the numbers, and it's impossible for there to be a favorable outcome no matter what the dice do. So you give up? Yeah, maybe. Why not roll and make it official? Why would you want to cheapskate me out of bonuses like that? It's so thoughtless. Uh, am I going to have to take my matters into my own hands to make your move for you? I thought you couldn't use your powers. I mean, real-life powers, not game ones. It's against the rules. But if you are going to break the rules and refuse to roll, what choice do I have? I hate that it's come to this, but what can I do? What are you doing? Oh, cool. Mind control powers. That's not good. That's definitely not good. That's not, that's not good. That's, nope, okay. Mind control. That's not good. Well, I can see why this would be problematic in the future. Tavros, have I mentioned how cute you look in that plucky little outfit? Why, well, if I didn't know better myself, I'd say I was playing with Pupa Pan himself. Isn't that what you want, Tavros? To be like Pupa? Of course you do. What boy wouldn't want to be like Pupa? So dashing and brave. He is everything you are not. For one thing, he can fly. Do you want to fly, Tavros? Have you ever tried to fly? I bet you haven't. How about we take to the skies, Pupa? Oh, you like that idea, Pupa? Yes, you do. I can feel it in your simple, malleable brain. You want to fly so bad. This is fucked up. Is she going to send him off the cliff? Did she literally paralyze Tavros? What is wrong with you, woman? What is wrong with you? 
What happened in your life to turn you into such a terrible human being or troll being? Like, reminder, she is someone's favorite. I mean, uh, this doesn't, I mean, this is not, this is not making her a, this is not making her a bad character, but it's definitely, that's actually not a spoiler. <laughs> that's actually not a spoiler because I said it. Um, it is a spoiler and probably should be delete, deleted. Um, that's why I said I knew who this character was. I knew her name. Because everybody talk, talked about how much they hated her in chat. And the one thing I knew about Homestuck before coming into this, um, the one thing, she's a big bitch. So, so it is technically a spoiler and you guys are right to call it out. But the one thing I said in an earlier stream that I knew before coming into Homestuck, the only thing I knew about Homestuck at all was the simple line that somebody told me one time that was, Vriska did nothing wrong. That's it. That's, that was the only thing I knew going into Homestuck. So when everybody started freaking out about how this is like somebody that they hate, I kind of guessed it was Vriska. Um, just because of how controversial. But that's fine. I don't know the context for that. This is fucked. Vriska has very much done something wrong. So as you can see, that line is clearly false. She seems to be doing something wrong here. I'm not quite sure, though. Yeah. But... That being said, please no more future spoilers about Vriska. Um, please no more spoilers about Vriska. Unless this is like some... Well, uh, you know, I, I'll leave my theories later. Your stream crashed and you had to watch an ad? No, it's okay, Meldy. Um, fly, pupa, fly! <laughs> Fuck. Ah, ah. Adios, Tora dumbass. Fuck. AG just jumped me off a cliff with my brain and uh, my legs also, and now they feel invisible. Wow, I'm sure there's a better way to say that. Anyway, that's all there is to report on the subject of me getting hurt. CG. Hey, asshole, stop playing games for girls. What? CG, shut the fuck up. What? What? Why are you... What? 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 Don't say that. I'm getting manipulation vibes from her. That's fair, I did say that, though I did not know how literal that was. Maybe next time call somebody at else? Yeah, no. To be fair, I mean, Karkot didn't know it just happened, but I mean, I don't know. I feel like that was a pretty solid, like, um, I feel like that was a pretty solid descriptor of what happened. You know what I say? Like, when he said games are for girls, he meant as in troll girls are insane. Car, car, cod, car, cat. Even if it was a bad, even if it was something bad to say, either way. Yeah. Well, let's continue. This sucks. This absolutely sucks. Oh hey, but not too far in the present. Right around this moment, with car, cat in the toilet during a conversation we might have already had, which ended like this. Oh boy, you need to get with the program, car, cat. Have you talked to AA? AA, what? Apocalypse or forty-four? What? Okay, we have this. Yeah, we have this conversation. Uh, CG ceased trolling CG. Uh, AG began trolling Carcat. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Let's go. Arachnid's gris grip. Notice Vriska's name or Vr Vr uh, Vrissik's name. Yeah, Vrissik. Yeah, I, I. It was so hard for me not to say anything because I knew the name Vriska coming into this. But I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to, like, jerk the experience. And also, I didn't want to, like, give an opportunity for uh, spoilers. So. Yo, Aridan, what is up? How are you doing? Yo, we are here at some um, interesting moments. AG and CG combos are always special. Psst. Hey, brave leader. Oh, my God, why are you talking to me? Can I join your team? Yes, I'm glad you asked, because there's a wide open slot for the most vile, backstabbing sociopath who ever lived. You really helped me out of a jam by stepping forward. Vile, backstabbing sociopath? Carcat, did you copy and paste that phrase directly from your personal ad describing what, you look like, what you're looking for in a lady? Ha ha ha! More cagey, cutesy bullshit. Like I'm not up to my lobe sim without already having to deal with Terezi. You both must have been insufferable when you were a team. Your opponents probably all just tried to commit suicide after a few minutes of putting up with your fanny, grind, grind, drivel. That's probably how it all went down when the shit hit the thresher. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, definitely can ask and spoil. You guys can, like, talk about your favorites and spoilers for various reasons. 
It feels like every Homestuck stream ends up with at least one chat member whose name is a troll spoiler. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. As long as you don't know the context, right? It doesn't matter. That's just a cool little Easter egg that you find out later. That's not a bad guess, but man, Carcat, you sure are giving me a hard time. I don't see how we're supposed to be becoming friends if you recoil from my olive branch like I'm a twitching, a mummified uh, bovine phallus in your direction. Becoming friends? What the fuck? Like, we will never be friends, moron. Not even hate friends? No, more like twitchy-eyed, projectile-vomiting, and utter disgust friends while I perforate my bone bulge with a calling fork. Yes, I'll take it. Let's see. You've counted three in this stream? Hopefully can we, we can at least meet all 12 of the trolls before the stream ends. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know when a good place to stop will be, but uh, we'll see. Get lost. Anyway, I was joking about wanting to be on your team. I'm already on the blue team. Oh, oh, really? Wait, let me count out the eight things these things. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. There, I am now an enormous tool forever. Yes, Arati and I have an agreement. We will be co-leaders. But I really, but I really, I will be the leader. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. What do you think, Carcat? Can you take on two dangerous ladies at once? Yawn. Come on, aren't you a little nervous that I'll oppose you? You should be. No, you're just a run-of-the-mill little psycho girl, a troll kager a dozen. I'll be taking apart the blue team with brutal efficiency, you'll see. You never played one of your stupid games with me, so you never had the privilege of seeing what I can do. Enjoy the show, sweetheart. Just don't even think about using your mind control tricks on my players. Remember the truce? Psh, those days are far behind me. Anyway, I can't control just anybody. They've got to be impressionable, like you. You can't control me. Sure I can. I just choose not to. Yeah, okay. I find your mind totally unpalatable to browse. Looking into your brain is like pawning through a smelly dumpster full of broken glass and razor blades. And poop. Whatever, don't even try it. I've got a better scourge sister on my team, and if you and if you break your truth, you'll I'll have you answer to her. The funny thing is, she was always way better than you, even without any powers. That's right, I know your whole story. You were always jealous she could manipulate people so well without resorting to cheap tr mind tricks. Huh. I can tell this burns you, and I don't even paw through your dumpster. Chalk it up to another as another infuriating victory for gutter blood over ar aristocracy. Oh, what's that? Nothing to say? Wow, speechless, I guess. You're probably crying right now. That would be my fucking day. Hey, look at me being the one to talk shit at warp speed, then log off before you can reply. Bye, idiot! <laughs> CGC strolling. CG has begun trolling. Oh, back so soon. Did your thumb slip on the button? I guess you can't get enough of me. You made me do that, and you know it. You ain't got nothing on me, and you can't prove shit. Anyway, Karakat, I just wanted to say... Heart. Who? Ooh. Okay, so one, she can mind control at a distance. Um, oh my god. She is terrifying. Carcat's aggress aggressivity is for once is more than justified. Absolutely. God, you hate her, Rain. They are all 13 and it really shows. Yeah, but they're 13 with superpowers, which is terrifying. Being 13 with th superpowers is terrifying. Just because, like, I'm trying to imagine what I would do at, like, 13 years old with superpowers. And, like, I don't know. Oh, God. You are now the other... Oh. Oh, God. Okay, centaur testicles. Let's go. Let's go, CT. You decide that we could probably stay to delay this guy's introduction a little longer. Why don't we see what someone else is up to? Anyone. Hurry. You... What? 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 Here we go. What? 13-year-olds should not have this much power. Cool posters. Uh, fish. Add food on a culture that promotes violence and aggressiveness. Um, you switch to a vague teaser of the final unseen troll in the nick of time. What is this? Oh. Yo, it's Sea Boy. Or Sea Girl? Sea Boy, Sea Girl? Sub Let's see. Her, it's her. Okay, cool. Re-recursive now. Pisces. Oh, boy. Oh boy, let me write down Pisces. I don't think we even have an abbreviation yet. Yo, Mary, Briska. <laughs> Chris, oh, yo, yeah, Carcat. Chris has Briska for needing to uh, depend on her powers to deal with people. Uh, has to use her powers to counter him. <laughs> Absolutely. Lol. Let's see. Oh, God, the puns, Meldy. Why the puns? Okay, let's see. Okay, we're going back to Radia. Go home. You head back to your hive to get the blue team session started. It's been a while. You revisit the remains of your quaint rural hive. Your lawn ring and the small excavation sites you dug up for practice are all overgrown with vegetation. You haven't been here since the night of the accident. 
On that night, you found your calling. The voices of the dead grew louder, urging you to return to the runes you discovered not long before. You left so abruptly that you didn't even have time to bury your looses. But that's fine, because trolls don't typically bury their dead. Leaving bodies to be consumed by wild animals is more customary. I really do like Aradia, and I'm so sad to see like a piece of Aradia before she lost all of her emotions and found her calling. <clears throat> we know all the handles, we just haven't matched them to the faces yet. Technically, we shouldn't know Vriska's name. But, you know, that's fine. We already know it. It's fine. Let's see. You have an arrangement to begin the session as co-leader with one of the Blue Bloods. Oh, okay. So, wait, 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 wait. Real quick, real quick. I need to write this down for Vriska. Blue Blood. Let me see. You understand this player intends to make a power grab and take sole possession of the leadership role. Sub subterfuge is typical of their cast, but you're perfectly okay with this. It's one of the many things you're okay with. You will allow your co-player to take the lead and enter the medium first. You understand the leadership role is essentially meaningless, aside from offering, from, the, from offering the distinction of being the first player to enter. You also understand that entering the game second was always your intention. Connect to the server player. Let's go! We did see their usernames on Terezi's screen. That's abs that that that's that's fair. Let's see. Unless there are some that were not on Terezi's screen, which is very possible. I don't know. You guys would know that. I do not. You have a server player to connect connect to you. Someone to, you personally selected for the role. The device requires uh, required for entries are deployed. The kernel spread awaits prototyping. But unlike all eleven other players, your dead Lucis is not available. You have to use something else. Tier 1 prototype? Oh, we're prototyping the frog! Prototyping with the frog head before entering the medium would prove critical to be critical for later success. Just another many assurances whispered by the dead. You long since stopped questioning them or doubting the future significance of even spontaneous acts of frivolous desecration. Compelling your nonplus server player to perform this task might have proven difficult. Luckily, your telekinesis, an ability greatly magnified by your calling, would be sufficient to move the massive object, with it, whereas a game cursor likely would not. Your server player simply watched in mystification. Who is a, a server player, though? That's interesting. Who knows? Not you, a person who has read Homestuck before we were cursive. Yo, frog hype. Let's go, super frog. Frog sprite? Do, 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 do. Oh, it's Nep. It's Nep. It's Nepeta. Oh, and she's just chilling out there with a uh, dead mom. Dead cat mom. Huh? She really just had no idea what the hell was going on. Whoa. Okay, maid of time. Okay, I'm running... Even though I, I, I literally gave myself room for all the details about the trolls and their powers, um, I, 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 I still am running out of things. I am still running out of things. So this is the land of quartz and melody. And this is related to Aradia or Aradia. And she is the Maid of Time. Okay, that's that was one of the titles that we saw earlier, the Maid of Time. Her land is super sick. Look at how freaking cool it looks. I love it so much. It is awesome. Aradia, enter. Let's go. You enter the medium, taking your place in the land of quartz and melody as the Maid of Time. Meanwhile, your client player has been exploring another world. The Blue Blood has a present for you. The present cannot be duplicated via alchemy at this stage of the game. It would cost too much grist, a detail which this player has not been made aware of. The player would have to progress to the second gate of their world, arrive through the gate on your hive, and deliver it in person. Facilitating this delivery was one of the reasons why it was important for you to enter second. Oh, this world is so cool! I love this planet! Oh! Hello. The frog is so cute. I love it. Your server player's confusion is only in part due to learning the ropes of a new game. There's more significant... It, it is only in part due. There's more significant reason for her befuddlement. While she followed your advice and went through the simple motions of game setup, at no point were you visible on her monitor. She saw your damaged hive. She saw the alchemeter and other devices she deployed. She also saw the strange computing device on the floor bearing the visage of a species she didn't recognize. She even saw a great big stone frog head fly through the air by itself and become frog sprite and though she had to ask why you would always delay the answer the fact that remained she couldn't see you what um what that's interesting kermit sprite 
I love it. I wonder if Aradia is projecting herself through time or is she already dead? I don't know. I do not know. Well, that answers that because you were dead all along. Well, I literally, maybe she's already dead and then boom. But she couldn't see you up until the moment after the Sprite second prototyping because you were dead all along. You're back for more fun facts about Aradia? Well, we just got a hot story dump. This would explain the lack of emotions and the lack, like, everything. Like, if she's already dead. We were all completely blown away by this stunning revelation. Wow. Dead? Really? Like a ghost? Huh. Yo, Aradia Kermit sprite looks badass. I dig. Spooky ghost sprite. Fun fact, you were dead all along. Oh, interrogate the frog girl. Let's see. Aradia, I can see you. That is you, right? Yes. Why are you floating? Why are you a floating frog all of a sudden? I'm dead. My spirit merged with the frog sprite. Wow. Dead. Really. Like a ghost. Huh. Well, I guess this doesn't make me sound dumb. I hope this doesn't make me sound dumb. But I'm completely blown away by that stunning revelation. You don't sound dumb. Woo. How did you die? I ignored the advice of a friend and made some bad choices. AC rumples up her nose in perplexment at AA's really vague and spooky answer. Because actually, that's good because I kind of think I don't want to know. It's making me sad to think about. Okay. Nepeta, can you please keep this a secret? Yes, I promise I won't tell anybody. And by promise, I mean promise just so you know I'm being serious. Thank you. Ribbit. <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> Yo, I love her audio so much. The Ribbit was a nice touch. The Ribbit was a really nice touch. We all know that dying removes your emotions. I mean, emotion, I mean, I don't know. Nana has a lot of emotions, actually, now that I think about it. That's actually an interesting point, Mary, because Nana was dead, and when Nana got prototyped, she still had emotions. If you make the G out of Megiddo, you also get Mado, which is a Japanese word for underworld uh, afterlife, which fits with the dead. Also, it sounds like maid. That is so many interconnected details. Oh, my God. Jaspers was dead. He seemed, ha he seemed happy. Jaspers was happy. Be the huge bitch. <laughs> Blah, blah. <laughs> Be the huge bitch. Blah, blah. Oh, my God. Let's go. Huge bitch time. Let's go. Your wife... <laughs> your wife was sick. Her. Nana and Jasper's never had an intermediary time as ghosts. I mean, that's fair. Maybe that's the thing. Like, they... Because... Because Aradia didn't move on, it eroded her feelings. Can't we be somebody else, though? I don't know. Let's see. Here we go. Finally getting the name officially. Your name is Vriska. It bothers me that this is Scorpio. It bothers me that this is my, my astrological sign. Hello, Vriska Serket. Let's go. Megiddo is known for its uh, historical, geographical, and theological importance, especially under its Greek name Armageddon. Absolutely. Yo, Gulso, Vriska! Spider bitch. Your name is Vriska Serked. You are a master of extreme role-playing. You can't get enough of it. Or really any game of high stakes and chance. Oh, there is interesting stuff all around. The eight balls and everything. Um, so the, so, the key, so the eight balls worry me because of the uh, impending apocalypse death world. You were gone for her introduction? Oh, no, you're, you're, no, you're totally fine. You're totally fine. Snowman. You can't get enough of it. Uh, you have persisted with this habit in spite of your accident. But even, but then again, you don't have much choice. Your Lucis is very hungry all the time. She can only be appeased by the flesh of young trolls. Oh, oh that's terrifying. You cloud, you cloud campaigns for teams of flarpers, utilizing your abilities for orchestrating the demise of the impressionable. Your victories supply you with treasure, experience points, and spider food. Great. So she's literally like, I'm getting some serious like drow vibes from D&D &D right now. Mm, troll freak. So she literally is killing other like younger trolls to feed her lucid. Fuck shit. This is super this is super Lolf from D D. Like this is super drow enslavement shit. Like in drow culture. Holy shit, like I'm getting serious dark elf vibes. Um gotta be a serial killer or else you get eaten. Yay! Fucking hell. This is dark. You get why she's so fucked up now? Absolutely, beekeeper. You're something of an apocalypse buff, which is something you can be on Alternia. 
You are fascinated by the end of the world scenarios and are, uh, enjoy constructing doomsday devices for the hell of it. You are drawn to, uh, to means of dark pro pro prognostication, prognostication and the advantages that they offer, particularly in gaming scenarios. Your abilities in this department were hobbled with the loss of your vision eightfold, and you have since have sought alternatives through black oracles. You consult with these ominous globes, but routinely destroy them in frustration over the puzzling guaranteed inaccuracy of their predictions. Great, she hates eight balls. Breaking them has developed into a habit bordering on fetish fetishistic. That is a difficult word to say. And each you destroy, you add an insurmountable stockpile of terrible luck. You have to stop, but addiction is a powerful thing. Your troll tag is arachnid's grip, and your statements tend to be just a, just a bit overdramatic. What will you do? Today is Vriska Day? Why? Wait, how is today Vriska Day? Wait, I, I'm confused. Oh, because it's 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, you're right. It's August 8th. It's August 8th. Oh, wow. Happy Vriska Day, everyone, on the day that we meet her. What a coincidence. Check out the cool drawing on the wall. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! You drew your own role-playing character for fun, as many flarpers are prone to do. She is the best character, and you wish you were her. Oh, wait, you are her. Your wish has been granted, probably as a special boon for being so great at everything. Her name is Marquis Spinneret Mindfang, scourge of land dwellers, and sea dwellers alike, and worst nightmare to silly boy skylarks everywhere. She has accumulated more treasure and gained more levels than any of more of the petticoat seagriff class ever. She gained all the levels. All of them. Yeah. Proceed to computer. D Ford. <laughs> Yo, stepping on a D4 is rough. Morals is something to be happy. Is, is it really something to be happy about, though? I mean, eh, Vriska's OC is just Vriska. That I know many role players that do that. No, it's Vriska with a blue coat, silly. No, it's the marquee. You have a lot to do. So many irons in the fire. Ow! Lousy dice! You just can't ever seem to go anywhere in your high without stepping on an errant D4. Pointy little bastards. It's just your bad luck, you guess. You've had such terrible luck ever since your accident. It just keeps getting worse. As far as you're concerned, the world can't end soon enough. So, Vriska is literally a bad luck machine. Interesting. As you were saying, so many irons in the fire, such a tangled web. It is a web full of flaming irons and mixed metaphors. Tonight is a big night. You have a lot of meddling to catch up on tonight. Bugging and fussing and meddling. Always bugging and fussing and meddling. Take dice. Oh, Vriska literally has a dice. Well, okay, but, but like having a dice uh, strike specimen and having terrible luck seems like a bad idea. Your mom, your mom is crying because you're getting a uh, first off-campus apartment, and also your your wife is on screen. Yo, congrats on getting your first off-campus apartment. That's actually really exciting. Con super congrats to you, Cole. That's awesome. Good for you. You equip your enchanted dice set, the, fabul the fabled Fluoride Octet. Fluoride Octet. Why, why does Octet sound familiar? Okay. It consists of 8d8, plundered from a ghost ship during a particularly challenging campaign. In ancient times, such weapons were employed by roving bands of gambled ga uh, gamble nance. gambling nance, like gamble nance, like g gambling giants, deadly marauders of the passion for chance. They all died off, though. Too many crazy risks. Rolling the dice will execute a wide range of highly unpredictable attacks. Very high rolls can be devastating to even the most powerful opponents. Of course, with the luck you've had lately, you couldn't make a good roll to save your life. Gotta do something about this awful luck. Gotta catch a break. And when you get worked up about stuff, you put eights in places that you don't really make a lot of sense phonetically. Let's see, let's see. Dice is a better girl than Briska. Yikes! Dice, yo, dice are sexy. I love having um, a bunch of different dice. Actually, give me one second, guys. Give me one second. So this is my dice. So this is my dice tray, and inside of it is my dice bag. Um, since we're talking about, oh, oh, can I? You gotta go. Okay, yeah. Have a good day. Thank you for coming and hanging out. But this is my dice bag. Um, what is my take on the spider troll so far? Um, well, she's in a very toxic relationship. She's basically a drow, um, and the uh, she is very twisted. Probably on account of her upbringing from this Lucis. But here's here's my go-to my go-to die. Oh, I don't know if it'll focus properly. Focus, focus, you blurry machine. Okay, it's not gonna work. Let's see, let's see. But why is she even a spider? I think she is literally a spider to draw parallels to dark elves in D and D, Zach, in Forgotten Realms, because of the the D and D motif. Um, I I, I literally think that. It, it is very intentional. Are, are scorpions arachnids? I didn't know that, Shobi. That's today I learned. 
Today I learned she's the worst monks. But yeah, I think I think it's it, it is to intensify the parallels to Drow. She's the point five of the trolls that you love. Spiders are also just more common than scorpions. That's fair. Time to get the show on the road. There's so many people to meddle with tonight. Out after you dish an unwelcome solicitor first, that is. Doesn't she realize how rude it is to meddle? You'll fuss with her meddling later. What now? Oh, him. You thought he'd washed his hands of you. Strange timing that he's bugging you uh, tonight after so long without a peep from him. But I can't see. I don't have a, there's no symbol. Interesting, deal with this guy. There's no symbol. Oh jeez, I'm gonna have to highlight this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, 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 okay. Um interesting. Hello. Oh my god, why are you talking to me? This is the last time we'll ever talk. Oh wait, that that's him. This is the last time we'll ever talk. Not only is it sticking with the white text, there is no username. There is no username. Interesting. Still sticking with the white text I see. So smooth and stylish. I forgot how much I love highlighting it to read all of the boring things you have to say to me. It's like a fun game for super extra handicapped stupid people. Uh, so, man, Friska, like, come on, come on. Come on, I'm trying to give you a chance here, but fuck. You know, technically you read it without highlighting anything? Yeah, but I'm gonna not. I'm going to not. Um, like opening a present and finding what obnoxious thing the mystery tool typed. What it is? What is it? Parting courtesy, I suppose. All the ways I've exploited you were meant to bring about the events that will take place this evening. Knowing this will provide the context for the events in your new future, in your near future, and will affect how you behave in response. These events will be just as important as those preceding it. I've gone through great lengths, you see. You didn't exploit me. You're just a petty douche with a bad temper who likes to play games, and all I did was humor you. I did exploit you. Very thoroughly. It was easy. So full of yourself! Have I ever lost a game? Don't change the subject! What subject are you referring to? Arr, I'm going to log off in a big hub, and you have to promise not to use that nasty trick where you log me back in out of petty juice spite. So can he control her? Then we go back to never ever talking, because man, that was heaven when it was like that. There's no need for, this kind of, for that kind of assurance. I'll be brief. I no longer hold you accountable for any wrongdoing. In fact, I've given your train discretion very little thought since the incident. If you acknowledge this amnesty and regard it as sincere, you may begin to find the odds falling in your favor again. This may be essential if you are to succeed on your journey. Mm-hmm. Slow down, man. I'm just wearing out so many pens taking all these important notes. Fuck. Fuck you for ruining all my good note-taking pens and giving me this terrible cramp in my good note-taking hand. Incredible, the risks you take with your scorn. But of course, it was your unpleasant, simplistic temperament that made you easy to control. Vicious and predictable, like an insect. If you turn a swarm of wasps on a crowd, the outcome is certain. It takes no skilled strategist to understand this. You are, in fact, a waste of my talents. A primitive expedient. <sighs> what a snob. You're worse than my meddly meddler, meddler, fr meddler friend. I wonder why they waste their camaraderie on you. I'll never understand it. I thought you said you would be brief. I'll say one last thing. Though the magnitude of the ensuing destruction resulting directly from your actions will be neither possible nor necessary for you to fathom, there nevertheless ought to be one silver lining. The only question is whether you will live long enough to see it. I'm not a gambling man, but if I was, I wouldn't bet on it. Goodbye. Bye, asshole. Who? White text dude. White text dude. Okay, I'm gonna write down white text. White text manipulator. Can manipulate luck? Let's see. Let's see. Can manipulate luck. And also, saying that the destruction results directly from Vriska's, uh, from Vriska's actions. That's very interesting. Yo, the devil, show me. <laughs> Referring to him as the devil. Let's see, let's see. All of this chat, all, all of this chat in chat briskhorse is killing you briskhorse is a thing like that's just the name for people talking about briska that's uh, that's hilarious it's okay this is working out bunk more hollow comebacks as hollow and wishy-washy see inside of one of these dumb black globes what use is all this attitude against a guy who's never done any, who's never done wrong who's never wrong it's so depressing you can't even work up the energy to smash this stupid thing stupid thing 
Maybe you could stand to have some camaraderie wasted on you, even if it comes from a medley meddler metal friend. Yo, Friska feeling powerless. Interesting. Endure meddling. Yo, GA! It has been so long. Imagine knowing that someone is never, ever wrong, and they just say that all your friends hate you and waste their time talking to you, and that you're the reason everything's going to go wrong. Yeah, absolutely, Canny. Like, that is brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Honestly, you shouldn't try to like Vriska. If it happens, it happens. But if you like her, but if you try to like her, you'll only be disappointed by how horrible she is. Sweet bro and hella Jeff text. Where at? Where at? Where at? But, um... Yeah, no, Can Candy, that's a very interesting point. Like, saying basically that you're unlikable and that everybody hates you. But he did say he doesn't understand why GA spends time. Bunt? Oh, that's the bunt? Yeah, no, that's very interesting. And it's very, very sad. It doesn't justify your actions, but at least puts them into perspective. Yeah, no, that's the thing. I think a lot of the times, like, when you're when you're trying to explain these things, like, that's the most important thing. Like, keeping accountability, but also understanding where people come from. It's a, it's a balancing act in a lot of ways, you know? Um, do I have... We have not gotten GA's name yet, correct? I think I would remember because... Oh, oh I love her. I absolutely love her. And then GA, what was GA's, uh, what was GA's sign again? I think I have it written down. Let's see, Virgo, 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 Virgo. Sorry, I'm trying to fill out my notes as we go. Thank you. GA's name was, let's go, bunt, bunt. What? Just want to let to know, is your Lucis dead yet? What? Huh? What kind of trick question is that? Um, let's see. Lunchbox. Interesting. Are you trying to sabotage me? Are you in cahoots with someone? Uh, no. Cahoots! Cahoots, I say. You sure do be, uh, seem to be saying cahoots. I'm just asking because mine's dead. What? Oh, no. How did that happen? It was just her time. Really? Are you saying it wasn't sabotage? I would suspect sabotage if I were you. No, there was no plot or conspiracy or any trace of saboteurs operating through the special magical union one can only describe as being in cahoots with another. When a virgin mother grub abdicates and renounces brooding, her time will be relatively short. I always knew this. She was so cool. You had the coolest looses of anyone I know. I wanted to meet her someday. Maybe you still can. Yeah, meet her corpse. I guess that's not a bad consolation prize. Seeing a big, dead, cool mother grub. Wow, you were so lucky. My looses sucks. <laughs> Why did you ask if she's dead anyway? Do you know something? They're all dying. Or they're growing too soon. I believe it's a preemptive consequence of the game we're about to play. If a preemptive consequence is a concept that can be said to hold any meaning. But from what I understand, it, if it is applicable in any sphere at all, then this game holds that sphere. Okay, I really don't get that. You can just go ahead and think I'm some dumb flighty broad again. I wasn't going to think that. You know what I don't what I don't think what I don't think even I really under You know what I don't think even I really understand what I just said, so never mind. What the fuck is that sentence? That sentence is a long roll. Andrew Hussey is a Virgo. Interesting. Bunt is the same right side up and as, as well as upside down. Oh, boy. Wait, never mind. It's not the quiet. D dunk. Yo, but it, can you... What, if you bunt... If you bunt... If you bump... Bump somebody, can you then dunk on them? Is that a thing? It is really hard to make my mouth do the wordy things, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Now you have me a little worried. Man, I hope she's okay. Why would you do this? This is just my luck. Has someone died besides yours? And uh, you know who's, I guess? Yes, a few. Carcat thinks it's his fault. He believes his actions triggered an inauspicious chain reaction. You mean a curse? Sure. Wow, between his curse and my shitty luck, we are so screwed. I'm not surprised to see you endorse his paranoia without hesitation, but I was attempting to illustrate a point in bringing it up. Ooh, there goes another one sailing over the idiot girl's head. Okay, lay it on me. These events are inevitable, and regardless of whatever emotional entanglements obfuscate their significance, they will ultimately serve an important purpose. The curse had nothing to do with it, and Carcat's notion of a curse is inseparable from his perception of events as intrinsically negative and as tailored to his personal dissatisfaction. Your bad luck is the same way. I believe anyway. Uh, okay. What would happen if you just cleaned up a bit? Do you think you would step on a few less hard triangles? Why do you try to help me and stuff? What's the point? It's kind of bothersome and insulting sometimes. So I have a messy room. Big deal. My luck fucking blows. It's got nothing. It's got. It's got nothing to do with it, and you don't even know. Meddler, why are you so meddly, Miss Meddlesome, Miss McFussy Fangs? 
because you're dangerous. No way, I'm just fine. Why don't you can it? Every time you tell me to can it, I think it's funny. I mean, it's just a funny thing to say, don't you think? Oh, it's okay to be dangerous. Lots of people are. And dangerous people can be really important. Maybe even the most important sometimes. But it means there's got to be someone around to keep an eye on them. And if not me, then who? Everyone has an important job to do. Okay, so you're spying on me. Kind of creepy. And maybe you should get a life. Or, you know, if you're so high and mighty and think you're so great, maybe you could just, I don't know, try and stop me from doing bad things. Ooh, that's some foreshadowing. That's some foreshadowing. You know, only if the big man has the rock. Vriska sounds very upset. Um, I think Vriska acts out of insecurity when her friends try to help. And not only that, but, like, Vriska is getting a lot of interesting information. Like, everyone is telling Vriska that she is going to do something terrible. And if you're told if you're told you're going to do something terrible constantly, even without time travel shenanigans to validate it, like obviously you're going to you're going to feel terrible about it yourself, and you're going to be like, well, fuck it, everybody thinks I'm a terrible human being anyway. Why don't I just fucking do it? Like that's so common. But when you get told that in the context of inevitability and time travel, I could see Vriska doing terrible things because that's resigning yourself to fate. And that's the impression I'm getting from all of these conversations about her. So, that's really interesting. Like, oh god, that try and stop me from doing bad things, it doesn't reek of, like, being angry, it reeks of desperation from Friska. Like, that, that, that was probably one of the most sad things I've heard come out of Friska's mouth. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but you guys are saying yup, so I'm guessing that this is pretty on point. That wouldn't work if I tried to stop you would regard me as an enemy instead of merely as a nuisance. And what good would that do? So I'm afraid, McFussy Fangs, it must be. Ugh! Okay, great, fine. I'm gonna go check on my looses now. But I'm starting to think you're full of shit, and I'm quite sure she will be quite fine. You're right, anything can happen, I guess. But, just so you know, I'm sorry for your loss in advance. AG ceased trolling. AG began trolling. Oh, man, why didn't I just get the last word and sign off real quick like I usually do? Let you sneak, uh, let you, let you, uh, snake they, oh, okay, Riska is, like, upset and is mess messing up. Let you sneak that stinking little ninja quip in there. Oh, so mad. Lousy, stupid, goddamn supportive friend. Cease trolling. Yeah, this has been, oh, no. You go down like 50 million stairs to our nest below. You begin to wonder if any other kid on the planet has such a high maintenance lucis. You doubt it. Let's see. You pass by one of the completed doomsday devices. Completed? No, don't have completed doomsday devices. That's a bad idea. That's a really bad idea. It has the same formation of globules that was on Vriska's glasses when she threw Tavros off the thing. Yeah, when you get emotional, you put eights in places that don't make sense phonetically. Absolutely, Candy. That's what I was realizing there. Like why I was having trouble reading it. Well, regardless of how you feel about her, no one can deny that Vriska is a fascinating, complex character. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, even now, before she has really done any... Well, okay, she threw Tavros off a cliff. That's really bad. But she has a doomsday device. Things are about to get fucked. But even now, I'm incredibly intrigued. One way you can tell she's super emotional is that her quirk goes all over the place. Absolutely. You promised you'd build it for an especially powerful, influential member of the nautical arist aristocracy, probably the uh, troll we haven't met yet, in return for his collusion during one of your campaigns. Some guy you were in cahoots with. You guess none of it matters now. It was tough to build and it isn't perfect yet. Luckily, one of your pals nearby is pretty handy with technology. He can be tapped for parts and fa fa favors frequently. You wonder if any other kid on the planet has as many irons in the fire as you. You doubt it. Let's see. Oh, God, that is a terrifying Lucis. Jesus Christ. See, look at this. She's fine. Fine and huge and hungry as ever. You guess you're relieved? Yes, of course. Who? why wouldn't you be? It'd be devastating that anything happened to your dear, dear sweet, toxic custodian. But if you want to know and knowing at least everyone's names, we got 200 pages to go. That's not happening. That's definitely not happening. And this is where the Lucis dies. There's a tower. Oh, no. Never mind. Never mind. Actually, you know, listen here. Listen here before we, uh, let's end here before we meet Sagittarius. It'll be easy to remember where we stopped off at. Like, that should be easy peasy.